you know, we paid a lot of money. We offered Craig so much money, and he just said, uh-uh. So I was like, okay, second best option. Obviously, Tim Cook is a guest. He also said, uh-uh. So I've got a couple surprises for you. I have... I didn't I didn't see him standing. Oh, oh, and then uh a uh, hot dog. As you can see our our costumes are amazing. We have Tim Good Cook. Good morning. Welcome yeah. to Apple Park. Tim Cook everybody. Yes. We love Tim Cook. I'm and you would this is There's a you bunch of different versions of me. This is this is testifying in Congress it's Tim Cook. Luke Miani, everybody! Hi, hi, Welcome great to be you. here. Thank you so much for having oh me. Oh my wow. god. Good morning. Wow, Good morning. what an amazing day. What? Hi, little boy, what, what Apple executive are you? Are you a little, can I touch your, uh... sorry, that was really bad. Oh, I don't like that. I'm <laughs> going <laughs> in. <laughs> I mean, uh, go- <laughs> this oh, is no, a terrible please. start. Terrible. They start. always go back in. No. Whenever I'm around. Oh, okay. Lots of stuff happened the big this week. Scary man is scaring me. He is big and scary. You look, you look monstrous in a suit. Yeah, it, it is somehow a weird makes thing you to see. look way longer than you're already the longest human I know. I mean, literally. Wait, me or the hot dog guy? No, no, you. Tim. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Have you seen yourself, Timmy no. Boy? You are, you're the longest human I've ever seen in my life. <laughs> I'll tell Plus, you what. Do you remember that game Slenderman? Yes. Yes! I would have been actually scared if it was you. <laughs> That's... Yes! It look... <laughs> wait. Okay. Is it too... Mm. Is it too much effort for a joke to render out like a Slenderman short film, but it's Sam as Slenderman? Yes, I think is that's that a little too, bit. Of, is that too a little demonstrably? Much. Yeah, yes, yeah. that is okay. way too much effort. Yes. <laughs> okay. Well, well. Okay, Luke, you pick. What do you want to talk about? Well, I don't know if you guys noticed, but uh, there was a certain event or not event, depending on <laughs> oh, who no, you I ask, can't do it. Can't that do it happened again. last. We, we were this so past happy. Week. We were we we were thrilled to be bringing you the Apple event in three days. <laughs> And I, and I, this, you didn't okay, even now show now, your face. Now, I was going to say. You now there. Tim's gone. Now Tim's gone. Can I just say that sometimes when somebody says something and they call something an event, maybe it's for a reason. Because it's almost like if you would combine the three videos of this Apple press release only release week, it was literally longer than the Apple event last year. And mm-hmm. we got more. And it was way more exciting, That's right. and it was really fun. So I just, you know, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna be in my bag too much here. But I do want to say to every single one of you that commented and told me it wasn't an event, mm-hmm. you are wrong, and you have to sit with that for the rest of your life. I do have Uno question. Okay, what's up, man? Uh, see, Apple has a uh, a page on their website for these such things. Yeah, it's the mm. Apple events page. Uh huh. Yeah. Well, it's a funny thing. I pulled it up. Um, and there were three videos posted, right? So that's like 33% chance for each of them. But none of them were on there, actually. It says the last mm. event was Glow Time, which I think is a bit suspicious, wouldn't you say? Yeah, I would say that's really interesting until you actually go to Apple's YouTube channel. And if you look in the description... Ah, hell. There's still... I don't know how many buttons I have! Oh, there we go. It says, uh, hashtag Apple event... Yeah, so, I don't know if I buy so it. If it seems a- like if, SEO if, if, to me. Yeah, but the, the title, brother, the if title Apple says themselves, what word. It's we're like, not, we're not it's doing like this again. We have so me. much to talk about. Okay, we have so much like to talk about. When you, no, when no, you it's okay. Word, you can do it. Just read the title. What's the uh-huh. title of the video? <laughs> MacBook Pro announcement. Oh, ha- say, see, wait a minute. Hang on. No, there was a word that I didn't hear in that title that you just read out there. It, I, I swear it starts with an E, and it ends with a with a vent. <laughs> uh, Do you guys vent. get joy out of this? Is this fun no, for I you? Mean, yeah. Because I expect this from yes. everyone else, but from from my friends. I mean, do you want us? Do you want yeah. us to tell you it was an event? Yeah, I do because it it's was. like you can just tell the truth. Actually, okay, you, they put hashtag Apple event 
in the thing. One could say people are searching for Apple event in the search bar and it'll help it pull it up for SEO. Uh, and you're taking that literally, but you're also the same guy that puts confirmed in his titles. And we're supposed are we taking that literally or is that just And you're not? <laughs> Yeah, yeah, thank Every you, Lou. Time. Thank you, Lou. <laughs> sorry, sorry. Who's the guy that made a fake Apple event that never happened? It happened. Oh, so you admit that it wasn't an event. No, I'm talking about John's video. Let's everybody calm down here. <laughs> yeah. It did happen, Yeah, though. but it that was event for the event happen. that didn't happen. Yeah. But it so was an event, guys. One or on. I mean, what do you guys got to be wrong? Because, John, you're, you guys are both trying to have it both ways. Mm. John made a fake event for an event that didn't exist, <laughs> and Sam called an event that wasn't an event an event. So you can't both have your cake and eat it, too. Luke, Listen. it's almost like you could break the tie right here, right now, definitively, on the show, so mm. we can move on. But he won't. Uh, the, 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 the way to break the tie is that you're both wrong and you're <laughs> no, both, you, no. you're both slinging shit at each other. This and is a terrible from head deal. To toe, buddy. Worst guest. Worst guest. Okay. We actually have so keeping much to it talk real. about. We you know what? Yeah, I don't even do. care. Sa Sam wrong. Sam a liar. That's okay, fine. Okay. Sam truce. I, truce. truce. Yes. You lost Tim. Truce. Sorry. Yeah, other side. Yeah. Sorry. Okay. There we go. Everyone be happy so in the comments. Audio Bruce, we're so happy. It's just the audience booing at me in particular, and maybe a little bit. Oh, but it sounded like um, a fish tank was with a bunch of dying sharks or something. I don't know. It didn't I really, really the audio didn't really come <laughs> through on my end there. I really like what just happened, by the way, because yeah. I read your comments. We all read your comments, and a of lot of you were very upset. Uh, are, I mean, it just seems like week after week, more and more of you are upset with this <laughs> show. But like, you still come, you still come here. So it's like we're all family, but you're just really they annoyed take with your relatives. Punishment. Yeah, you're just you're just really annoyed with your relatives. Uh, so luckily, because of how the show just started, the ones that are really upset, they're gone by now. Mm. So now the real fun yeah. begins. The real genius. We, it turns out I'm a fraud. I didn't realize that. <laughs> you are. We have so much to talk about. This is this is a, we, we're kind of we're, we're burying the lead here. We got a ton of Apple stuff this week. We had it. Call it an event. Call it three mini events. Call it three announcements. Call it three press releases. I don't care what you call it, but call it new Apple products because that's what we got. And it was a really fun week. I want to walk. I think it'd be fun to go day by day. Uh, it's like kind of, kind of my favorite way to like tell the story. Do you guys want to do that? Yeah. Yes. Let's no. Do it. Okay. Yeah. Let's go day okay. by day. So Monday morning, what time did you both wake up? Because we knew oh, they God. said Monday Dude, morning. You've asked way too far now. The timeline, that's so long ago. <sighs> I remember exactly where I was that fateful morning. <laughs> yeah. I set my alarm for 5.55 a.m. only to be Ooh. stabbed in the back. Because oh, yeah. Press releases they did are not always announce at 11. It. Press releases are always at 11. ET. Except for the iPad mini two weeks ago, which was not at yeah. 11. When yeah. was that? <laughs> Literally. It was at 6 a.m., which is oh, why Sam and I woke so up at 5.55. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. uh, thinking, hey, 5 let's not sleep through it again. Well, and then Apple said, uh, didn't sleep. psych, no. At least you definitely didn't sleep through it. That's true. You're That's right. True. But we also couldn't um, be well-rested because the thing yeah. is, when you wake up at 6 expecting a press release, mm -hmm. you can't go back to bed because you got to wake up again at 7 to make mm -hmm. sure that that's not going to happen, and mm -hmm. then again at 8. So cycle repeats. really, I just sat in my bed refreshing Twitter for like two and a half hours. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that oh my was, God. That was fun. So all of a sudden we wake up and we see, hello. Hello. I'm like, whoa, this, first of all, I'm already like, so wait, smooth. this looks like an Apple event. This looks, wait, what? Uh, my first reaction, like, of course I was calling it this, but to actually see like, Oh, they went in and invested in drone shots invested. and filmed. <laughs> I mean, I'm serious. Like you, okay. The, the last at great why is this cost. I really hit their bottom line. Those drone <laughs> shots. And I was shocked to see. I mean, actually, this is the exact one to one format of an event. It it felt like an event, and I was I was just shocked to see it. I knew there would be videos. I knew it was going to be obviously talking about the new products, but. I was not expecting them to, to actually full on have shot a 46 minute event and to split it up in, in a three part. W were you guys surprised or were you expecting this exact thing the whole time? I, I was kind of, uh, yeah, I was expecting that. 
I I didn't expect that. this level. More like uh, that yeah. one time that Luke mentioned last week. Exactly. Yeah, the, the one in October. I, I thought video this, I but not, that they were going to do all three with videos. I thought that they were going to maybe do one or two big videos. What I was most surprised by was the order of this mm. uh, week, uh, yeah. I guess. Uh, I think I think it was... I mean, going into it, if you go back to last week's show, we were all kind of like, why are they doing this and what exactly are they doing? But mm. the way that they structured it by sort of going, they had three chips, they kind of went up the tiers, right? They started with the mm. M4, and then they said, here's the M4 Pro, and then they said, here's yeah. the M4 Max, putting it in Max along the way. And let's not forget, taking literally 50% of all three of those 10-minute videos to say, hey, here's the Apple intelligence features that you cannot use yet and that we have talked about 47 million uh. times. Don't forget about that. Yeah. Okay, so let's, let's, let's start with day one, all right? We're watching. First thing we get, First of all, it's John Turnus. This is really interesting. I mean, That's I get, the real like the news Mac. for this week. Mm -hmm. that, uh, yeah, yeah, we should talk about that after this. But, okay, we see John Turnus, rumored to be next CEO. We'll dive into that a little bit it's later. It's because but, Tim was scheduled to be here, obviously. Of course, of course. Right, um, right. And, and that's why he, I am here. Hello, welcome, good morning. Well, so, yeah, you. we got we got this um, person telling us about Apple Intelligence. Very cool. Like Luke said, it was about half the video. Jesus. <laughs> and then finally, we go back, and it's like, okay, what is this actually about? And okay, it's an iMac announcement, dude. This new computer, the colors are so good. They're very just good. come on. And that man. transition, the reveal, very good. Insane. Classy. Why is this the best Apple event that we've gotten this year, and it's not an event? Okay, can we just start there? Okay, I don't know calm, about that. Calm down. Calm down. No, I mean, no, to, to be fair, genuinely, they have the not really announced very many products this year. I'm talking about and of, this is the best produced thing that they have done in, I would say, two to three years. The, sh the I, shot composition I was so, nailed. I so, so much disagree with your the, statement. The, that are you we just seeing, made. They had are a we couple forgetting really about when Tim Cook, uh, when Craig Federighi parkoured his way through Apple Park? Are we forgetting or about didn't that? Didn't they just drop out of good, an airplane but, today or this year today? Then they all drop out of an airplane. That was the same dub dub this year. I don't know. This one oh, yeah, just they felt did do that. Not to mention I, I the guess... October event last year was CGI out the anus. I don't know. The the shot composition and the pacing of these just felt perfect to me. I there was know. a couple of very smooth, very clever, really good shots, I think. I wouldn't call it the best event. M maybe it's because I'm just going to say hot take. I think hot the, dog. the original COVID, yeah, hot hot dog hot take over here. <laughs> I think that the original COVID events are still unparalleled in their like oh, yeah, polished the pacing ones. and like Oh yeah, I'm talking I, <clears throat> Everything from 2020 and like through the MacBook Pros in 2021, Agreed. and then 2022, they kind of were like, "All right, let's." I feel like there was a shift in the production value and budget, and they were like, "All right, let's do this. <laughs> let's make it good, but we're not going to go uh -huh. that hard." With the one notable exception of the Vision Pro, when they built like that massive, massive set, oh, yeah. that was pretty crazy. Yeah, uh, that was crazy. Yeah, I think. Overall, I I like the production here. I think it was really cute, really smooth. Obviously, I think the news is that there was uh, this was not with Tim Cook, mm -hmm. which is interesting. Uh, iMac though itself for Monday looks phenomenal. Looks phenomenal. Uh, mm. I I I see because I was on the Mac Rumors podcast as well this week, and oh no way, there was discussion about like it not being enough, like them not giving iMac enough, but. I disagree with that a lot. I think this is yeah. I think it's a great upgrade. It's specifically like when you're thinking about this iMac, this design, the 24-inch iMac, the demographic, if you're considering them, this is like the perfect Mac upgrade for them. This is the perfect update to iMac. I I I really love iMac and personally when I had my blue one, my M1 iMac, Love that a lot. Just not enough for me. I would love to for there to be a larger, more pro-y iMac, but and I'll have to wait for that. But for everyone else, it's like the perfect desktop computer. 
Yeah, absolutely. Any, any I think, thoughts, Mr. Honestly, Hot Dog? Or? I was really expecting that. I think Apple over delivered on all of the products that they announced. Yes, I think agree. the we what what I was expecting going into this and what the leaks and rumors had suggested was chip swap for the iMac, chip swap for the MacBooks, and uh, the new Mac Mini design. Right. So obviously, very very happy about the Mac Mini design, but the the iMac got a bunch of good stuff. We had USB C accessories. We had the new yes. colors. We had the center stage camera, which was a fun little detail. And we had the nano texture display. Yeah. Mm, that's pretty good. <clears throat> also, yeah. let's just acknowledge the that I think bigger than all of the updates is that we have finally graduated high school in the sense that no longer can you buy a Mac from Apple with eight gigabytes of RAM. Can we cue the applause sound effects, <laughs> yeah, it's, please? It's incredible. We can. It's incredible. Holy cow. It feels dude. lovely. It feels lovely. Yeah, that was big. I, and I was really, very happy it, with iMac. It just makes the value of everything so much better. Yeah. Yeah. I, w I was really impressed with this first announcement. I think the colors, they nailed it. I've genuinely been thinking, do I need a kitchen iMac? Is it time for <laughs> a random iMac? I don't know. Luke knows my kitchen. Oh, no. I don't know where I'd Is put it. Is it time for a kitchen iMac? But, it if sure not, feels like it, we're getting close. It's not going to fit there, bud. It, I think you, I need... Dude, let me sh just look at these colors, dog. You're going you're gonna to look at these colors and tell me I don't need... They're so Come good. On. They're so Come good. On. The orange... The pink... So the thing I is, like I really pink. wanted to get the orange, but it's not available on launch day, so I had to go for the green, what? which I also really like. Yeah, no, it's The weird. green is really good, too. The, what an incredible They have the, the blue and the green... And I think the silver that are available on day one. The other what? colors aren't available until the fifteenth for some reason. Yeah, I mean, Sam, look can at you these, show dude. the the picture? Uh, you know, after this, when the when the press and media had hands on access, there was like a table that they were all on yes. with an underlight. That I'll looked crazy. Oh, that was a good. Uh, they do a good job with those things, man. It feels so weird because the Mac is like. It's in such a great spot. Can't I can't say the same thing about kind of any there other product that they make, but Mac is in a phenomenal spot. Ah, oh, dude, yeah, that's pretty sick. sick. Oh, there we go, bro. It from above, come and below. on. And they've got the yeah. little hello thing on the wall with the backlighting. Incredible. On that. Mm. Yeah, I can't. Yeah, no, honestly, well. I I really, really love the current iMac design. I think that is probably yes. one of the boldest and best designs that they've had in a really long time. Agree. I, I mean, you look at every other segment of Apple computer, and nothing is really that bold anymore. It's good, right? Like, the iPhone design is good. The iPad design is yeah. good and, I think, really beautiful. Uh, even the MacBook Pro, the current generation design, is really really good but this is like this is like we're talking like steve jobs 1998 oh it yeah really it calls back to the original imac with the same colors and that just like elevated identity that that you yeah. want from an apple product and they it's, absolutely no, nailed it the, the m4 chip this is going to be big <laughs> for a lot of people the m4 chip has more <laughs> thunderbolt controllers so you get four thunderbolt four ports the previous mm. M M1 and M3 versions of the iMac, it was two Thunderbolt ports and two regular USB-C ports. So, Luke, I, I love you, but the fact that you cut me off to say that normal people need more Thunderbolt 4 controllers is... um, Dude, I am silly. telling you, I am telling you, silly. you go read any comment section of anyone who cares remotely about the Mac, and you Bro, will find people saying people. that they want it. No, it is. Trust me. There are a, there are because here's the thing, Sam. Here's what you don't understand: the 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 M4 chip, the base, even the M1, two, three, and four chips, they provide value for the normal people and for people who actually care about it. That's why Apple Silicon is such a big deal because it's not before. If you wanted to buy a MacBook Air, you had to be an idiot. And the only thing that you would ever open is Google Chrome and the Notes app. And that's it. That's all you could do on those stupid little pieces of junk. But now you can actually do stuff so people care about what they support. 
And if you have more Thunderbolt ports, that means you have higher resolution and more external displays. It means that you have faster peripherals. It's better. Every, people care about this. Just because you are too stupid to know what it means doesn't mean that other people John, don't. Okay, j- here's the thing. Craig is being silent right now. <laughs> Craig, he knows I'm thing, right. Craig no, doesn't care just, about this stuff. John, John, do normal people care about four Thunderbolt 4 controllers? I'm inclined to say no. As Craig. Thank you. Thank you. As Craig. <laughs> Come on, this is something tech and But I'm also not the Mac guy. I'm just Mac doing, I'm just doing display. software. Yeah, stuff. okay. Okay, <laughs> Sam, but that's, I, I you're, that you're completely ignoring my point. Because no, the you're, iMac... Your point the, is the that whole your commenters really that like that it. I think that's great. Use the, no, no, not my commenters. <laughs> not just <laughs> my so commenters. <laughs> I'm just saying, Sam. I love this podcast. The whole point of the Apple Silicon chips is you can do two things at once. You can be a college student who doesn't know anything about computers and buy an M2 MacBook Air. You could also be a professional and and buy an M2 MacBook Air, or I guess now an M4, because the I mean, keep in mind, the M4 chip all on its own is as powerful now as the M3 Pro, is as powerful as the M1 Max, probably more powerful, actually. So... You know, these computers are becoming more widely accessible for a wider range of things. So it is, even though most people probably aren't going to care, they probably also aren't going to care about 16 gigabytes of RAM, but we're still celebrating that one. Okay, see, that this is where I disagree, because there was actually an issue where if you opened up like 12 Chrome tabs, a normal person would say, why is my computer slowing down on 8 gigabytes of RAM? And they would say, I well, just bought this a normal person yeah, it's like they don't know why. Know yeah, a normal person might not know why these Thunderbolt ports could benefit them, but like if they try to plug in more than one display on the on, on old Apple Silicon, you couldn't do that. Literally on the M1, yeah, MacBooks, yeah, I know, one external monitor. And I've th- this is something that I'm I can tell you from experience because I have had friends who are not big into tech who have been like, "Hey, I'm trying to plug in these two monitors, but it's not working. Why isn't it working?" And I'll be like, what computer do you have? And I'm like, oh, yeah, it doesn't support that. You need a hub that can do this split display thing. And people are like, that's dumb. Why would they do that? So now it's not an issue anymore. And people will notice that if not explicitly. I'm with you that it's a big deal, but I think compared to like the 16 gigabytes of RAM, I I still think most people are connecting their computer. Well, yeah, obviously. I'm not uh, saying it's the same thing. I'm just saying that's another fun little thing that they did that we weren't expecting. Yeah. I had a a friend after high school uh, where we had we had a computer that we were sharing because we were all trying to start a YouTube channel, right? Br- Brian's included. How'd that go? But there's a third friend, okay? <laughs> and Did it I succeed? remember well, uh, this friendship ended because of this, this one thing that happened on this day. Mm. This friend wanted to have two monitors on his desk. That was required. And so to do okay. so, he bought a... Okay, sorry if I'm dating everybody here, but he bought a VGA splitter. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah, we're then, going back. On, we're going back today, boys. Okay, Woo! sorry. And couldn't understand why he was getting the same image on both displays and would not accept the answer that it's impossible through his method. And he wouldn't accept that. <laughs> and so the friendship ended because of the stupidity. So if yeah. you were ever, if you were if somehow you stumbled on this and you're wondering what happened to my friendship, uh, that's what it was. You you did that, and that's just a, that's a tragedy. So just anyway. buy an M4 chip. M4 chips will save <laughs> friendship, as I think in, in many ways. Is how the many VGA line of ports are on the new Max? Yeah, look how many VGA ports are. There? I mean, honestly, you could probably a Thunderbolt signal. That's a lot of data. You could probably get like ten to fifteen VGA Whoa. signals out of that. Hell bad yeah. boy. Whoa. Hell yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so that was iMac. Any any other thoughts? Je- I know this is silly, and I did get cut off very very rudely before. But the USB C accessories, I was like, I mean, I, I yeah, did did I spend a three hundred eighty dollars on USB C accessories? Yeah, okay, <laughs> that's fine. Oh, we you all did, you what? You the what? black and the black and silver keyboard and mouse combo. You of bought that? Of course, I need USB C, bro. Respect. Yeah. Now, guys, you're I no free. Longer I know I'm going to sell the lightning accessories and I no longer have to use lightning for anything You're else. You're free. I'm wow. so happy. This is the European Union. This, I mean, this is us, not the EU. We love you. We <laughs> yeah, always love you. Thank you, you. Tim. Here at I Apple, believe you. 
Here, here's a question that I just want to say before we move on to the second product, Luke. Was there ever a rationale for why Mac accessories used a lightning port? Ever? That ju- that never made sense to me. It's the only product outside of a mobile or a phone that they put the lightning port on. No, that's true. Uh, honestly, I think it's because they they started to roll that out before USB-C was widely out. Mm. I think if you go back like right, specifically for the the magic mouse and the keyboard, I think those got their current design in 2015. Mm. And so I guess they just it's kind of unfortunate timing. I guess if they had waited another year theoretically, mm. they wouldn't have done that. And then we would have had lightning uh USB-C this whole time, but no, honestly, what I think is that they they went with Lightning because it was sorry. too early for I, USB-C. I and then because dog. they were still selling the iPhones. <laughs> He's a hot dog. I can't. Dude. I, every time I'm trying to just listen to Luke and I can't. I can't hear him over That's the mustard. Okay, I'll go away. No. Don't. You come back, Luke. Oh, I'm no. so sorry. He's molting again. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> That's a really, really girthy hot dog. Like the bun. Look at the proportions here. The Tell bun is much girth, thinner John. than the hot dog. <laughs> I don't know if it's thin buns or thick dog. Me, let me tell you. Yeah. I got that dog yeah. in me. Shall okay, we so. move on to day two? Let's do it. Well, I, okay. I just want to say, uh, with yeah. these... with these, uh, I forgot we shook and truced. Yeah, we did. <laughs> with this... <laughs> <laughs> with this event that we got... And with this announcement. Over the last... Thank you. Uh... <laughs> You know, I did a fair share of watching Apple events, you might say, in the past month or so of my yeah. life. Yeah. And one thing I think I, like, blocked out of my memory because I didn't want to accept it. I don't know. When's the last time you guys saw an Apple event before they shot it on an iPhone? Oh, all the, um, all the time. Well, I, I, like, I look at them You constantly. mean, like, in 2021? All, all of those, all of, I mean, they shot all of those on, original events were, were not shot on iPhone. Yeah, they started yeah. shooting on iPhone in October last year for the October yep. event. Everything before that was shot on actual cameras. Uh, substantial difference. Looks so much better. I'm really glad that the yeah. iPhone, you know, looks good enough to use for these events or whatever. Uh, and I think they should continue to use them because it's proof of concept. It's standing on business. I like all that. I love that. <laughs> yeah. But we love standing on business. We love standing on business. But do yourself a favor. Go back and watch a little cheeky Apple event before the iPhone came into play, and it looks like a movie. It's very good. Yeah. But you I, I, think, talk. I think that they shot these ones on the 16s because I swear it looks better. Uh, that, that's what I was talking about. Oh, like, yeah. This is like the best looking event in a while. This, I guess comparatively since they've started in the past year shooting an iPhone. Bro, look at... Okay, yeah, is that's, this a uh, model or is this no, a certain that's lens tilt attachment? Shift. It's tilt shift. tilt shift photography. It's like okay, a, that's what I. Thought. It's like a very uh, narrow depth of field that makes everything look miniature. Yeah, it's a it's a cool effect. Clever. I don't know if they did that in camera or if they did that after mm, the fact because they might have just done that through processing. Yeah, I'm not sure how Which you would is do less that cool in iPhone lens. Yeah. So day two, we're There's watching like the. Announcement video event press release. I love the thing. miniature look for the uh, mini announcement, dude. This was so it. cool. I remember watching this immediately, saying this is going to be a big one. You just you could just tell the work that they put into. I like that That's they also crazy. sped it up, which kind of enhances the feeling that it's <laughs> it like a everyone model look like yes. for some reason. Yeah, this was crazy. Also, this new observatory thing that they built. That's sick. why does everything they build look sick. I know. I want one. I want a bunker in yes, a hillside. Yes, I want a Why bunker. Why can't we have a <gasps> bunker? Is that Django? It's Django. Django. He Aww, only comes out during you, Halloween. Little buddy. Hey, under, who are you? What are you for Halloween, Django? Aw. Hey, buddy. Is that? Does he still have his bow tie on? Yeah, he got bow tie. Can we get a meow on the mic? No. He, hey, Django, he does, can we get a meow? He doesn't do anything you actually ask him to do. <laughs> Django, <laughs> that's, don't Well, meow. that's cats. Look, he that's jumped cats. and took the cord with me. <laughs> My head almost came off. What if I got? What if oh, my cap no. got detated? Whoa! Oh, this was such a cool intro. Once again, JT, JT, our boy. I mean, our it makes boy. sense that he's here for the Mac announcements because he does always do the Mac stuff. Yeah, but like the fact that they didn't show Tim <laughs> at all. Yeah, I'm sorry, Sam, but you're getting phased out. 
I know. I mean, oh no, I must go be a humanitarian or something. I don't know what he's going to do. <laughs> that man's going to run for uh, president. Probably that. See, that would oh, be I don't crazy, think he though. Is. The thing no, is, give, chance. give him a year or if two he after ran, he's done at Apple. If Tim Cook ran, unironically, he would be pretty hard to beat. I mean, he's got a completely clean image. Good, imagine his supply chain efficiency stuff on the U.S. <laughs> government. <laughs> See, he would I'm be not like gonna lie. The, he would be the be actual pretty... successful businessman pitch. Like, bro yeah. actually just like made Apple a three trillion dollar company. <laughs> yeah, in like uh, a decade. Yeah. How, how much debt is America in? Like three dollars at least. Like at least I would say at least more three, than twelve. At least three trillion. Yeah. yeah. That's like yeah. He, Apple I could think pay he off could the turn US's that debt. ship around. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Tim Cook single handedly. Oh, that would be crazy. I mean, yeah, I'd vote for Tim Cook. Anyway, let's move on. Okay, Mac Mini, dude, they they hype it up. Here we here it is. Love this reveal. Wait, the that looks the out. same. That looks the same. Oh my god, it's actually oh, smaller. The and the che- wild. Yeah. And the cheeky oh. look on his face. What a great reveal, dude. Just let me just pause the, it. The lighting there is. Oh. It's crazy. If that's not a render, oh. the lighting there is. I my brain can't fathom. I gotta. I think that is real. Woo. The lighting <sighs> is unreal. Mamma mia, that's uh, it's top lit and front lit come and on. like. Come uh, on, come on. That's that's what I'm seeing. Where these events look insane. That is, we have not seen a shot that good in years for any of the reveals. Oh, even for the like iPhone 16, they didn't do that. No, that's what I'm saying. This is why this this thing surprised me. So there it is. It looks like a mini Mac Studio. This John is, fucking mm, killed it, bro. Dude, this was this. Oh. And they go in the port. Oh. And then we got Shloka. And then they talk about Apple Silicon and uh, Apple Intelligence again. Yeah, yeah, they do. They do but, tend to do that. By the Just way, uh, when you guys want to talk about M4 Pro, let me know. Uh, I'm I'm waiting in the wings. I have a <laughs> lot of shit to talk He's about. He's itching. So just <laughs> okay, okay. Continue as you were, but just do keep that in mind. <laughs> just <laughs> first, let me just get out all my excitement. Yeah. This is this is awesome. Yes. Mm-hmm. Agree. They. It is they, awesome. I, so I have not said this yet because we haven't recorded, but this is going to be the new machine, just the base M4. I'm going to start doing the podcast off of. Hell yeah! Um, because it's perfect. It's gonna. I'm looking at my. Mo- I actually switched my setup this week. I used to do it off my MacBook, but it was kind of annoying to move it, reconnect all the cables every single week. Mm-hmm. So I used to do the podcast off a of Mac Mini, and then I I use it for a different project, which will be revealed one day. I'm very excited to put the Mac Mini on my desk and it's so small and tiny and dude will you just, will a person your size even be able to see it i don't know i'm not <laughs> sure yet you might need a just microscope look at it. just look at this machine no dude. they absolutely killed it this is i think that this mac mini might be the best value computer on the planet bar oh, none not yeah. even a question not even yeah. a question because not only is it m4 luke take it away what's the other chip we got inside of this little Boy, this guy. little nugget of excellence comes <laughs> with the M4 Pro, and I I want to I want to well, I'll tell you what, Apple pulled out all the stops for the M4 Pro chip this year, and I think that that's super interesting because it is a complete reversal from what they did last year. Okay, because mm. remember the M3 Pro is actually a really weird chip because they decreased the number of performance cores over the M2 Pro. They hmm. went down from a, uh, I think it was a 10 and 2, or an, no, they went from an 8 and 4 to a 6 and 6. That's what How they did. How do you did. just so they, have same this total stuff core count. in your brain? I mean, yeah, that, that, that's what I do. I got to have that. I got to <laughs> have true. that in the brain, you know? <sighs> so... They went, they went down for the M3 Pro, which means if you look at an M2 Pro and an M3 Pro side by side, they actually perform about the same in terms of the CPUs. So clearly Apple wasn't trying to uh, make any sort of crazy performance gains for whatever reason. But this year they completely switched courses. So they went from six performance cores, six efficiency to 10 and four. 
So this is the most amount of CPU cores, the most amount of performance cores that we've ever had in a pro chip. And it really shows because this thing is an absolute monster. And we have our early Geekbench yes, results that just up. got leaked you, today. Yep. Dude. Oh, I haven't first seen of all, yet. Yeah. First of all, I, I'm going to toot my own horn for a second here. All right? Toot, you did toot, call it. You right? did call Your it. Your math check you, yes. out? I, dude, my math, I was off by less than 3%. Less than 3% on my little napkin oh. math for predicting the scores. The, the actual Geekbench scores, I have these pulled up here, was 22,094. That is an absolutely monstrous score. That is higher than the M2 Ultra. The Ultra. That's higher than the M3 Max. That's high, it, that is higher than every single Apple Silicon chip that has ever existed. That's insane. So here's uh. the problem now. Oh, okay. Is my seven grand Mac Studio? Is oh no, we don't talk about that. <laughs> we don't talk a about year it. and a half later. Is cooked a bit. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. 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 Mm -hmm. Luke's. Yeah. How much was your Mac Pro, buddy? It was seven as well. <laughs> it well, was seven. you see. If you, don't, if you don't think about some, mm. something like this, you get to stay happy. I don't know if you guys know that. You get to, <laughs> you get that, to stay happy about Is that cool the secret, Craig? <laughs> yeah. I'll tell you what, though. I, I am okay with it because this, this feels like a really, really important time, right? Yeah. So on, on its face, it, we do look like fools, Sam. I'm not going to lie. We spent seven grand on... Computers that are now being beaten by a fourteen hundred dollar Mac Mini. That is yeah. an undeniable fact. By a tissue but I'll box. tell you what, we have gotten so used to not just with Apple, but with all computing in the twenty tens, having to wait four, five, or six years to get these kind of performance gains, and we are now in a new revolution of computing. Competition mm. is back. And we now have these year-over-year -year gains. The, the, the M4 Pro is more than 40% faster than the M3 Pro. That's crazy. In, a, in a one year. That's outrageous. That's nuts. Um, yeah, let me go back to the event where they, they talk about it specifically. The event, And some huh? crazy stats. Sorry, the video. I'm, <laughs> I'm, not, even, I'm not even trying to be, uh, <laughs> to be a problem. To be a problem. Oh, Dude, yeah, F faster ray tracing. Oh, what is this schedule? What is an improved scheduler? What are they going to help me? Like when I type an event in, it's like, oh, oh, Siri. It's like, I don't Siri can actually set reminders for you. That's the, yeah. <laughs> that. Now, the GPU scheduler. It it's like a back end uh, task management thing that it's similar to what they have on the the CPUs, which is also different for the M4s, and that's why the cores are so much faster. Is they now have a uh, a ten lane? I'm forgetting the exact terminology, but basically on the front end of the chip, there's a uh, scheduler type thing mm -hmm. that uh, on the M1 and the M2 chip it could handle eight simultaneous threads, uh, and then on the M3 they went up to nine, and on the M4 they went up to ten, which is a pretty big deal. And then on the back end of the chip. There's what a whole the? bunch of these structures for <clears throat> allocating different tasks, and those are increased as well. And so a lot yeah. of that is why you get these crazy, crazy numbers out of what are pretty similar cores in terms of their power consumption. Why is this? Why are they so solid here, though? Like the Mac team is crushing it, has been crushing it. No controversy. It's just been great since Apple Silicon was introduced. The, the iMac was like our first look at... It was our first jump from, oh, shit, things can look... Because of the size of Apple Silicon, that was our first realization of, oh, we can just do that now with computers. It's just the size of an iPad. Is that what's happening? Mm -hmm. And now, with Mac Mini, I mean, we all heard rumors of, like, you know, Apple TV size, which sounded crazy just by itself as a rumor. But seeing this is... It's crazy. This and... And it's it does better than your 7 grand Mac Pro. 
Mm-hmm. Hmm. Yep. So here's the question. Here's the question. Dude, I'm in a, I'm in a bit of a conundrum, and I I want some I want some <clears throat> stuff, and I also have something. Remind me that I have a, I have something to tell you that you'll actually be really proud of me for with the MacBook Pro, but we'll get to that okay. in a little bit. Spoilers. I'm going so to Luke. Do Mm. I currently have a placeholder order. I, it's, it's not going to come like soon because I ordered it really late. I think it's for December or something. But I currently have a placeholder o- order for the like basically specked out M4 Pro Mac Mini, and I'm I'm genuinely, I think I'm going to get rid of the Mac Studio because the M3 was way better for editing. I think they changed something with the display controllers or the in- encoders on the M3. The media engine and- definitely got a an upgrade. For that sure. was that's what I like. Just editing feels so smooth on my MacBook, and I'm like, wait, why does this M3 Max feel so much better? So if it's an M4 Pro that is faster, not only than the M3 Max, but then the the M2 Ultra, like what? I just I was not expect. Like you said, this was the surprise of everything, and I was not. I was. I think as a joke, I said, would I replace my M2 Ultra Max Studio? But now. And especially for you too, John, you've been doing some crazy yeah. stuff. Is like, oh, is this a thought for poor, you? Or? Yeah, my poor Mac Studio M2 Ultra is just, it is not doing well. Remember all the stuff I said on the podcast when you were like, I need best pro computer. And I was like, we're just YouTubers. We don't need that. Turns out <laughs> I was wrong. Uh, it does not. Well, yeah. that's before you started doing all of these green screen comp- the, compositing, the event, rendering. The event video. <laughs> that went up, I literally didn't see it from beginning to end, watch it all the way through until everyone else did, basically, because my Mac couldn't wow. run it in Final Cut, so wow. uh, yeah, I'm very I'm very interested. It's incredible. Poor, poor Mac Studio, though, because I was like I really well, got committed, I was a Mac Studio guy. Well, well I mean, next year it's a matter of time, it. we're gonna yeah. get it because the thing is, the M3 d- did not have an Ultra, they just fully skipped that generation which makes mm-hmm. sense, right? Like realistically, outside of us weirdos, there's not that many people who would buy a six, seven thousand dollar computer every single year. So I, I would peg it as either like a, a a spring event or like WWDC. I do think we're gonna see an ultra chip, but I think I mentioned this before. It's not gonna be the same type of ultra chip. Most I was likely. gonna say because there's cause no they few, got rid there's of no the interconnect. To, yeah. Wait, what? Yeah. Yeah. With M3, no, on the there's M3 no interconnect. Max. They don't have the uh, Ultra Fusion interconnect that they use for the Ultra chips, so, so that, I think it's going to be a monolithic chip. I think. It's thank be you. That was my that board. was my next question because if if Mac Studio is back in the question, is are they rebuilding the Ultra chips to be their? Own I believe thing? that they are. Mm. But I'll tell you what, they're going to be crazy expensive because the the Max chips are actually really really expensive and I'm I personally see what it's gonna don't do. think that the Max is worth it and I I know we'll talk about day three in the MacBook Pro yeah yeah and and my thoughts on that there but I think that Apple really really over delivered with the M4 Pro M M4 Max definitely I think they're seeing. Not that many people are being persuaded to go all the way up to the Mac, so they made the Pro really good. Huh. Do we have anything else to say about the Mac Mini? I mean, I feel like... It's, I, per- it's I, beautiful the, and perfect. The, the only thing I wanted with this release that we didn't get was a new monitor. I really uh, yeah, thought I we yeah. could finally yeah. get a new monitor. I and feel you. still have not updated the Pro Display XDR in five years. Okay, but here's my question. Did, did you guys see that at one point on a press release, they said that a Mac supported a 8K display at 120 yeah. frames per second? 120 yeah, hertz. IMAC. Was it iMac? Yeah. But w- w- that seems real specific because does a display <laughs> like that currently really exist? You want to be on to something. I don't think that it's – I don't think that we should read into that in terms of what they're offering in the future. But I see this as like a – Look, this thing, literally any monitor on the planet, you can plug in and mm. it's going to work. They're just saying that I think to that they're building that support the in now and it's going to continue over the next several years. Hmm. You know, Sam, have you heard the saying, good morning? I have. Do you ever wonder why that is? It's because every morning is a good morning when you're using Notion. Today's sponsor... We love Notion. Oh, where's my... There we go. There's my sound. Yeah, There's my do. sound. Yeah, we do. 
Welcome, Notion, back onto the show. It's the perfect place to organize your documents, your thoughts, your projects, collaborate with your team. But what if you could also collaborate with Notion? That's where Notion AI comes in. John, this is the new Notion AI tool that does it all. It searches across Notion and other apps. It generates docs in your own style. It analyzes PDFs and images to chat with you about anything. We have been using Notion. We have tested it out. It uses AI knowledge from GPT-4 and Claude to help you with any topic. It can search across thousands of your Notion's docs in seconds to quickly answer any questions. You can connect to other things. Our favorite, Jira. <laughs> GitHub and Jira are coming soon. That's yeah. huge. All right, we love those, but of course, other things like Slack discussions, Google Docs, Sheets, and Slides. I could not imagine running my business without Notion, and the fact that they get to sponsor our show is just one of those things like, well, let me just tell you what to do. Guys, try Notion for free when you go to notion.com slash genius. That's all lowercase letters, notion.com slash genius to try the powerful, easy-to-use Notion AI today. And when you use our link, you're supporting me and my show, Genius Bar. And me. And the other but guy. me. And what, what was that URL, John, to support me? It's, it's Notion.com slash genius, but it doesn't say Notion.com slash Sam. That's not the URL. Plus, Notion AI is used with, uh, alongside with Notion uh, by over half of the Fortune 500 companies and also us. And also and us we're, is important. We're for Fortune 1, which is the top <laughs> one. We're at the top, and so yeah. we're going to take you back to the show now. Thanks, Notion. Thank you, we Notion. love you so much. I mean, yeah, oh. this is mad impressive. Apple, you, if if only every release this year felt like this one, we would be so happy. We That's what I'm saying. The Mac it. team is so solid. Why why yeah. does iPhone suck? Everything else sucks. Accessories yeah. Yeah. suck. Okay, day three. We all knew day what was three. coming. Day three. Oh, also, we last knew what was coming, them. but sorry. I was gonna say la last mention is. The Mac Mini leaked on Amazon the night before, which was crazy. Like, Bro, the everything last leaked. <laughs> that was nuts. Everything yeah, and leaked. the M4 Max chip. The M4 and Max and the MacBook chip Pro. Yeah, it was Wait, like the MacBook Pro. I sorry, the M4 Max yeah, yeah. chip leaked uh, for that. It, like, yeah, pretty. There was a leak every day the night before, which was insane. Was fun. I, we, yeah. Luke and I were at dinner eating when the you texted us about the Mac Mini. Yeah, and we were both like, "Whoa, that looks sick." <laughs> Pretty sweet. Okay, day Dude, three. I, I'm so excited for that and for day three. These new MacBook Pros, again, delivered more updates than I think any anyone really saw coming. Yeah. Look at how beautiful. I, they just know how Animation's to brand so everything. Good. Again, another custom opener. I just could not believe that they did a custom opener <laughs> every single day. Don't know the why we went teams. in the parking garage. Best teams at Apple are Mac team and marketing team. That's basically Apple. Yeah. yeah Here we are, day much. three. He cuts right to the chase. He says, this is all about this guy right here. Love the animation. Hate the Apple intelligence stuff, but love the animation. I yeah. do wish that we had like a reveal video like this for the Mac Mini, though. It's kind of a, yeah, it's kind of a bummer that they didn't do one of these. Mm. I mean, what true. do you do? I guess you could, yeah, never mind. That's you could do. I mean, it had the whole yeah, new yeah. bottom part and the fan intake yeah. and the uh that that uh, whole yeah. thing. This was great. So here we go. Yes, the wind. Yeah, like you can oh. tell that they had some fun with this event. It was such a nice yeah. thing to be a part of. It really was. <laughs> what a pleasure! It really was fun. What a pleasure <laughs> to just be alive at the same time as these Apple intelligence chips. Okay, here we are, MacBook <laughs> Pro. Same wallpaper. Remember when everybody oh. said they're not gonna Apple doesn't do the same wallpaper? Yeah. Don't really get that. I also like if you Weird. go back in the video when they yeah. rotate it around yes. and you yes. have that like blue and red, that looks sick. Can we please just get that wallpaper? They clearly made it. That's right what there. I was thinking. Oh, yeah. That Dude, was my exact that's a thought. Fire to make wallpaper. It... Agreed. My bro, we're, me and you the same for real, brother. We really are. <laughs> yeah. I mean it's just yeah, I, I also said, wait, you literally made it. Print it on the damn box. <laughs> literally, that's like, all they had to do. I don't, I don't know. It's not it's not that crazy, I, I, I think. But anyway, same rough wallpaper. May, maybe I'm wondering there'll be some like Mac OS Sequoia thing where it animates when you log in. I don't know. We'll see. Mm. But okay, M4 maybe. chip, we knew about. Then we get M4 yeah. Pro chip. We knew about. We got that yesterday. But then 
Then they wait. Oh my they talk god! About Apple, Apple intelligence. intelligence. Holy shit! Yep. And then they talk about they it for another like got, fifty-eight minutes. Yeah, they, the same same features again. But then they go to the chip lab and they say, "Guys, we've got one more chip to go." Wow. M4 Max. Tim is here. Not Tim Cook. Tim Malay. Tim Millet. <laughs> other Tim. Other Tim. <laughs> other Tim. Okay. I thought Luke, this tell was us other about. Tim. Tell us about the M4 Max chip because I bought one of these MacBook Pros and it does. So I, I'm curious if you rented this too. Did these Max chips not ship until later in November? Uh, no. I actually because I'm getting mine on launch day. Here's why. When I ordered it, said November eighth, and look at your confirmation email because I ordered it, oh, said November eighth. Oh, oh. Right. Yeah. No, they ship. They're not actually for pickup, like in the traditional sense. They ship to the store and then you pick it up. So there's no time window. Is that what you're talking about? Check your confirmation email because I ordered and it said available November 8th. And in the confirmation email, it was like, you can, you'll get it on November 19th. <laughs> what? <laughs> that is... Check your, I, want, I want you to check your email. Close I, to the, yeah. God, I, ordered, I have like, a lot right of orders. Away. I got to find this. Yeah, I look for MacBook Pro a M4 lot Max. of stuff. <laughs> okay, here it is. That's my... I mean, it says available Friday, November eighth for me. Did, wait, me did you my, did I'll you go, upgrade to, to the, the higher order. tier version? Yeah, yeah. I don't buy really? the binned chips, Sam. Okay, Bro, listen, I didn't want to assume, <laughs> but well, neither do I. I just, I, I maybe. I mean, I ordered pretty much like right away. I don't know. I was surprised yeah, mine that says I got it. Friday, November eighth. I think Damn, they just I know it's better you. than me. Your name came yeah. through. Guess, and, yeah, you're just bad. You're just washed. Man, I'll tell you what, though, fair. I you order you order way more shit than I do, though, because you I guarantee I I know exactly what you got, Sam. You got mm -hmm. the nano texture let's display, wait, wait, eight on, terabytes on, of storage, and 128 <laughs> gigabytes of RAM. Hold Didn't on, it, let's open sixteen. Let's look. Let's look up. I'm gonna let's go one by one with exactly what I got. Okay, of course I'm going for the M4 Max spec'd out chip. Of course, not even a question. Of course, um, we scroll down. I did not get the nano texture display. Oh. Whoa! Here's Come why. on, that's it, like the new, it, the cool new thing. It compromises the display fidelity. This is just it how does. matte displays work. And I can't, even though it would, it, sure, it'd be okay sometimes, but, but it's I know. New. If you're right, <laughs> listen, different. you're right. How I know else, this goes how against else will they know you have the new one? <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Come on. True. Okay, and then look down here. Luke, I have something. I, this is what I said I was excited to tell you that I'm proud of. I only bought 64. Oh, my God. Damn. So I am I'm downgrading so my you. RAM. I am downgrading my RAM year over year from 128 wow. to 64. He's now, learning. Wow. Is that going to be noticeable? Am I going to be impacted while I'm you editing and stuff? You are never going to notice that. What, what would it be? Give me a use <laughs> case for filling up 128 gigabytes of unified memory. Oh gosh! I mean, really? What you for for that much memory? You probably need to be doing like a full orchestral composition in Logic Pro, because that hmm. will chew up a lot of RAM. You probably okay. need to be doing some like create like particle simulation. <laughs> You'd have to be doing some like pretty crazy stuff, because especially okay. given that it's unified memory, like it's even you don't. If it was 128 gigabytes of regular DDR5, then maybe you could you could get up to maybe maybe not even 128, but like 90 or 100. <laughs> okay. But like with Apple Silicon, you're not going to notice the difference between 64 okay. and 128. You're not. And then I did get I did get four terabytes. Um, okay. Four is about All the right. same right. though. Yeah. So More reasonable. This, this is. I, I this is the first time I have not maxed out the RAM, and it's because I was like, "Ooh, eight hundred bucks is a that's a little much for the." I don't know. I didn't really really like top it, of the sixty four. Yeah, it brings this Mac. It would bring it from fifty one ninety nine to six grand. <laughs> that's so cursed. just to be one up again yeah. next year. So keep yeah. that in mind. See, so it's Mac the issue. Sixty four. I think the problem that Apple has right now is that all of these Macs are a phenomenal value until you start to upgrade them because the upgrades yeah. are just absolutely outrageously priced. You Did you know that you can spec up the Mac Mini to almost $5,000? 
Oh my! The I th- Mac I th- I think Mini. That's what I did. I think the that's Mac what mine Mini. cost. If you go, if you go theory. for the full M4 Pro, 64 gigabytes of RAM, eight terabytes of storage, and 10 gigabit Ethernet, it's forty seven hundred dollars. So I did for Mac better Mini. chip, 64 oh. gig RAM, four terabytes. Of storage. Yeah, mine. Okay, so mine's only thirty three ninety nine. Why do that's you actually, think they? Why do you think they give that deal. much headroom? Like, why would you do that to Mac Mini? Though this is awesome. I don't. I, uh, I, the, <laughs> but it's 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 your old. It's all. It's all just RAM and storage. That's yeah. the thing. Like if you if you distill it down to the basic function, which is just the M4 Pro not binned mm-hmm. at sixteen hundred bucks, that is a good deal. That yeah, is that's an actually absolute insane. monster of a chip. <laughs> the problem is. Re- really, Apple needs to double their storage and have the upgrade cost. That's where we're at right now. This is like this is getting absolutely outrageous. Look at the prices: yeah. two hundred dollars to uh. go from five twelve to a terabyte in twenty twenty four. I could buy a one terabyte NVMe that's just as fast for fifty seven dollars on Amazon. That is out. <laughs> it's unbelievable. This should honestly be illegal. E. Dude, you got Timbalo twenty four. Give me cheaper storage. I, option, dude, I, I put guess. eight terabytes of storage of SSD in my Mac Pro, okay? I did it. I put two NVMe SSDs. <laughs> I rated them together. It's almost twice as fast as Apple's SSD that comes in the Mac Pro. And it cost me 400 bucks to put in eight terabytes. Apple charges $2,400 for that. Oh, my God. Okay, that's actually it's insane. actually... Uh, I genuinely do not understand how they're still charging that. Because keep in mind, these prices have barely changed since 2016. Yeah, These are like not very far off from the pricing structure that they had back Ooh. then when NVMe, SSD, NAND was way, way more expensive. It was nearly a decade ago. Mm. The what a only crazy thing- little computer. The only thing I wish it had, and I know this is asking too much, which is why I'm not mad about it. I I do wish it had the SD card reader on the front. Mm. Yes, I yeah. agree. Yeah. I agree. Um, however, one. however, I love, 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 love times ten that they put the headphone jack on the front. That is my number one mm. complaint about the Mac Studio design is when I'm producing or working on music, it it's on the back and I have to reach around and try to find it. The front makes mm. so much more sense. When you're producing or working on music is quite a thing to say. Stay tuned. Hey, he's doing this. He, he's working on something over here. And you know what? Yeah. I is think he, it's yeah. going to go really well. Is he cooking? Wow. Thank you. I'm, I'm cooking. I, I, think he's I just cooking. can't, I just can't believe Listen. something like that was said on a genius bar. Listen, now that iPhone season is over, we are in the dumps, as they say. Okay. And oh, no. I, I am cooked until September of 2025. Yeah, Luke, so. Luke, it's Luke season. You may now stop watching yeah. Apple Track and Front Page Tech. Uh, no, no, Luke Miani will have your attention for the next few months, and then we'll see, Sam yeah. and I will see you uh, next year. Yeah. Pick back up for Dub Dub. <sighs> Uh, okay, anyway. I want to talk about the M4 Max. Yeah, can yeah. tell M4 me why Max is a pretty interesting chip. You yeah, can convince me. me like right now. To, I need you to tell me why the M, the M4 Max is not what I need to get. Convince me to go with the M4 Pro somehow. So, the first problem with the M4 Max is okay, n- maybe not a problem, let's say, but we talked about how the M4 Pro is a significant jump. We have not only the faster cores of the M4, but we have more of them. This is the most amount of performance cores ever in a Pro chip. Okay. The Max is not changed. They have not updated the core counts. You can see it's up mm. to a 16-core CPU, 40-core GPU. So that's exactly the same. So the only performance gains that you get are from the actual cores themselves. Now, we know that that's still pretty good. So probably about a 20% improvement over the M3 Max. Maybe a little less for the GPU because those cores are more similar. Um, But when you consider the fact, and this is something that a lot of people haven't talked about. Sam, if you go go ahead and pull up the MacBook Pro configuration. I I want to show you guys something. 
okay, because the M4 Max is a specifically very bad deal, and I'll tell you exactly why. <laughs> okay. This one? You want me to look in? Uh, yes. Wait, go the up, si- though. 14 or 16 inch? Uh, do all chips so it shows the, the pros and the max side by side. Yeah. Okay. So 14 inch and then scroll down. Boom. There you go. All right. Okay. So look at that. The middle configuration for $2,400 comes with the full unbinned M4 Pro or for an additional, uh, I think they charge, uh, it's like $600, but then you also have a mandatory Ram upgrade. So the... The total delta between the M4 Pro and the M4 Max is like 800 bucks to make that update. But that's for the binned M4 Max, and they actually have the same CPU. If you look at that screen there, you'll see that the M4 Max, the binned M4 Max, is a 14-core CPU. Oh, that's crazy. Yeah. And this is... I think mm. I was the only person that talked about that in my video. The binned M4 Max CPU is the exact same as the regular M4 Pro. It's 10 performance, 4 and efficiency. It's a grand. Oh my God. It's so for your extra $1,000, you get uh. 12 more GPU cores and you get 12 gigabytes of RAM, and that's it. And I do not think that is worth $800 in the slightest. Hmm. Huh. Wow. Huh. Right? That's very I mean, interesting. If you if you need extra GPU cores, maybe, maybe. But like the value proposition for the pro is so much better. It's a good deal, man. Twenty four hundred bucks for that machine is pretty pretty nuts though. Exactly. That's what I'm saying. Because that's with a terabyte two, and now you get twenty four gigabytes of ma- of RAM instead of eighteen. That. I ordered that exactly unchanged. I did not mm. modify a single thing from that configuration because I think that's really well rounded. Yeah. Huh. Here's a here's a here's a follow up. Did you guys get space gray or, or sorry space black or silver? Oh, I, I actually got e- silver. That, I, that is I a correct ditched, Mac color. I did. I I'm recording right now on. I don't know if I can show this without it disconnecting, but I'm recording right now on the space black, and I really liked it for a year. But Mm -hmm. I went with the white iPhone this year. Mm. Uh, Black watch, interestingly, which I still love. Worth every penny. Well, you just want whatever's new. (laughs) Because think about it, though, Sam. You could have had black titanium, black titanium Apple Watch, and space black MacBook Pro. That would be kind of sick. Yeah, but I'm feeling white this year. I'm feeling... You're looking Light, white fluffy. too. I thank you and thank you, <laughs> and I've been really working on it. So thanks. <laughs> thank you. Uh, <laughs> I I got silver too. I got silver well, too. This, and I feel kind of feel kind of wow. okay. Up. This is not. This did not go the way I thought I was going to go. I'm going to be honest. Mm. I okay. So this was the first time ever that I was considering MacBook Pro. Uh, everyone knows MacBook Air is my laptop of choice, but it you know we're still waiting for Mac Studio. Uh, my Mac Studio is on its, it's been brought to his knees a few times. Yeah. So, uh, this was the year I was like, I guess, I guess I'm going to get a MacBook Pro, I suppose, but I don't know, man, the Mac Mini. Here's the thing. It's so cute and perfect. I don't think you need to give up on your Mac Studio because I think, I could, I think within like a 99% chance we get something before like Dub Dub. I really I think, think it's going to be. They're going to do an ultra chip. Oh, they're going to do an. German said they're going to do Mac Studio, and that it's, it's coming in when March he said or between April. March and, he said March and. Oh, okay. March so and then June. September next year is what that means. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Which is really funny because that's Mark German speak for like I actually don't know, but like typically <laughs> that's when they would yeah. do it. So that's what I'm yeah. going to say. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, and there, there, hundred percent. He's. I think he said. Yeah, he he has yeah. actually gone on the record and said there is a. a he didn't call it the Ultra, but he said there is an even more powerful chip in development for Mac Studio and Mac Pro. That's what he mm. said. Yeah, well, they had that. They had that before too. There's, there's been. He's, he's claimed a lot of chips that didn't actually end up happening. And look, mm. I'm not doubting them. I'm sure they were in development, but there were plenty of 
ultra powerful, extreme, uh, different chips that mm. were going to come out that didn't come out. So, you know, take it with a grain True. of salt. True. We were supposed to get an M3 Ultra, I think, last you can't, year. And it just kind of didn't. You really we can't were read. To, I think I remember him talking about something above the M1 Ultra and a redesigned Mac Pro before we actually got what was not Correct. a redesigned Mac Pro. Yes, so, he called it the Extreme. Yeah. The M1 Extreme was what he exactly. So I don't know. Hmm. Maybe and look, I'm not saying that he's wrong. He is. It's very probable that those things actually did exist. They were just early in yeah. development. So maybe now we'll finally see it. Who knows? I mean, the way German works usually is uh, says a bunch of stuff, and you shouldn't listen to him yet. Just lo- just watch him. Go okay, good job, Mark. Let him say a bunch of stuff. Uh, let Apple Circle make a bunch of videos about it. It's great. It's a great time. Okay, uh, and then the time when you, a real person, 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 should start <laughs> paying attention is usually the week before it's supposed to come mm-hmm. out. And what's going to happen is. He's going to do the Mark Gurman slip and slide move. He's going to start panicking. He's going to start saying a kind of little bit of everything. And it's now up to you to take those pieces, not anything that was said before. Take those yeah. pieces and try to determine which side the fear is coming from. And then you can decide <laughs> then what's actually coming and what's not coming. That's how Mark Gurman works. Yeah, and then the best part about this process is that no matter what you believe and no matter what happens, it's guaranteed that the next day Mark will tweet, bop, 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 as I reported months ago, several months ago, and uh, rinse Just and repeat. Just cherry pick all of the correct things and call yeah, it a, rinse and call repeat. It a win. It's great. There you go. Yeah. So that was. I do want to just ma- point something Mac out week. real quick, actually, for the Mac Week, because. I know I said that the M4 Max is a bad value, but that doesn't stop it from being the most powerful CPU pretty much ever. And, uh, dude, I am not even joking. <sighs> Granted, Another hot dog, we have hot Geekbench 6. Hot dog, hot take here. The Geekbench scores for the M4 Max that you can get in a MacBook Pro are higher <laughs> than what you will find in the Intel Xeon W9-3495X. And oh, if yeah, you've never I know heard of that, that is. that's because nobody has ever heard of that. But that is the most powerful Intel processor that they make. It is 56 cores, and it can consume up to 1,900 watts of power. And the M4 Max scores higher than that. Wow. See, oh, uh, this is kind of isn't that my, my actually Mac. fucking crazy, dude? Dude, and the fact that the Mac, the Mac rumors article is titled M4 Max chip up to 25% faster than M2 Ultra. Mm-hmm. Why didn't Let's Apple see. make a bigger deal about this? I don't know. I, it really feels Very like. Very good they, question. Yeah, because when you look at the when you go to these websites and compare the benchmark results, like the M4 Max on on CPU Monkey, which like aggregates it all, the M4 Max is the fastest chip. If you read down the list, it's literally a who's who of like nerdy PC bros. Ryzen Threadripper 7980X is tied. Sixty four cores, sixty four cores. Yeah, go to benchmarks. And then Geekbench six multi core. Oh, sorry, Geekbench. it's crazy. The the, the CPUs that are in that what? range are absolute monsters. And and here comes Apple with a laptop chip. It's a freaking laptop chip, and it's doing better than a sixty four core hyper threaded thread ripper. Here, okay. This is this is my question. If they are doing this with CPU. Why are we still not seeing Apple be competitive in the GPU department? Like, it gets better every Mm. year, and they keep talking about gaming. And I just want, I just want to be able to play my Call of Duty on my Mac Studio. (laughs) That's all I want. Yeah. Because this is, I didn't even realize this, bro. I think there's two issues with the GPU. Uh... Number one is the actual hardware. I think that Apple just, they've never really, even before Apple Silicon, they've never really put 
high-end GPUs in their stuff, and I really don't know why. Like, you go back and you look at the the later Intel stuff, even, like, the Mac Pro with those dual uh, Radeon graphics, like, they have never, because they've shunned NVIDIA this whole time, so they never really put hmm. high-end graphics cards in their stuff. Even, like, the MacBook Pros, they would, for some reason, pick these mid-range cards, and they continue to do that with these chips for whatever reason. The other problem with the hmm. gaming is they just won't relinquish control. They won't let people just like put whatever on. They want to be involved. So all of these games like Cyberpunk and Death Stranding and uh, uh, the Assassin's Creed game that they talked about in the uh, in the event video, all of those were like we worked directly with the developer to make this because they wanted to like optimize and it connects to game center for some stupid reason. And like, if you launch half these games, they're like, you have to be signed into iCloud drive. They just won't <laughs> relinquish control and let you install whatever you want. And that's one of the big issues. I can't believe wow. when you like look up best chips, Apple is in the list at all. Yeah. What? Yeah. <laughs> I'm still so not used to that. Like this we, just, I feel yeah, like we just really take. Weird. I feel like very quickly everyone took for granted how crazy Apple Silicon is. Yeah, it's this like, is just like yeah. weird, bro. Look at the integrated graphics, fastest ever. Apple has two through nine. I don't think there's ever been. Oh a, my gosh. I don't think there's ever been a change that a company made that impacted my career as much as this. Like a simple switch over that they did that was like. Instantly, my life was better and easier. Yeah. Nuts. And for mobile processors, mm. it's not even close. The M series the is problem, just... The problem... I think a lot of the problem with, like... I know you showed that the... I'm looking at that same website here of the, the, the mobile graphics cards comparisons. I, I wouldn't really read into that at all because the none of the benchmarks that they actually compare will run on Apple Silicon. So like if you actually yeah. go and try to compare any of them, they oh, literally sweet. just have no entries for Apple Silicon. Amazing. And it, it really is they're just being hamstrung by their own like stubbornness and compatibility. But hmm. that is a great point, Sam. They really do I I really think that I thought the M3 with the ray tracing was going to be a bigger deal. Yeah. Then they didn't too. really do anything for these M4s. They didn't increase the core counts or anything. I just, uh, I, I feel, I mean, I don't know. You think about, I mean, NVIDIA's success and the reason they've been popping off is for training AI models. The graphics cards are really important, it turns out. And I just feel like if they can do this with CPUs, and they every year they talk about gaming and gaming, and it's like, dude, mm -hmm. this is like if my ex cheated on me, Every time they oh, came God. back and they were like, no, I still love you, though. And I'm like, I know every single time you do this, you say you love me, <laughs> but I'm not feeling very loved right now. <laughs> That's how I feel about Apple Silicon GPU and gaming. It's I like we, we, we still game with you. And it's like, yeah, but I got a side <laughs> piece, too, that games a lot better. So we've actually <laughs> both double crossed each other. And now we're not really making much progress. I, I don't know. I To be fair. Everything else they've done is astonishing, and I, I am obviously the, all kudos in the world. I think we're going to call this episode probably mm -hmm. "Going on the New Mac Mini" uh, yeah. or something, <laughs> because this coming on to the New Mac Mini. The only I ooh, okay. Um, <laughs> this is a kid show. He That's said why it. This is a hot dog. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's like like not no not that way. I mean, but like I, you know, mm -hmm. oh, that Mac Mini is coming on to me. <laughs> He's, yep, he's looking at somehow this at is this worse actually this, like, this is worse i think you have the past to say anything you want right now in the hot dog suit because mm. it's like i not do canon. Yes. it's not luke miani canon so you can just say whatever you want <laughs> true yeah none Penis. of us are ourselves so yeah, it's not real it's not like a real guy kind of i'm just a hot dog. <laughs> okay so uh, i, I did question. find another little interesting tip. no i don't though go because ahead because i think the sorry john just because <laughs> sam was talking about gaming because well, I've been doing my, my I've been too. doing all my benchmark tests and and stuff, right? So I'm testing all the okay. M3 stuff, okay. and I really I was like I'm kind of curious now because one of the games I tested was Death Stranding, 4K highest settings. How will these things run it? 
and you can actually get 60 FPS on the M3 Max on oh. Death Stranding, which is a recent AAA game. You can get okay. 60 FPS at 4K highest settings, and I just looked it up here, and on PC, to get 60 FPS on 4K highest settings, you need an RTX 20, 2080 Ti. So, obviously, I think there's some like optimization that's helping out the M3 Max. It's not just like, you know, M3 Max equals 2080 Ti, but that's like really impressive. And if Apple has GPUs that are capable of stuff like that, I really don't know why they aren't pushing harder for gaming. Well, like, yeah. uh, okay, for both of you, what what do you think is more likely? Like, are we just going to keep getting these updates as we are now, and then eventually we're like, okay, I guess it's real now. This is the year where it's finally real. Or do you think they, they are going to make a big mm. thing about it? Like, do you think they're holding back because they have a plan of some kind? Like where graphics will be the focus. I thought that they had a plan two years ago. Okay. When they talked more about gaming, and then they didn't do anything with it. So now I'm inclined Mm. to think that it's just going to be a gradual trickle of like some games coming out as Mac exclusives, kind of half-assed for a while. Well, that's less cool. Yeah. I mean did did you see that they announced Cyberpunk is coming on? Oh yeah. Mac, yeah, that's like crazy. historically a crazy intensive graphic. I mean, that is something I will definitely be downloading to experience on my Mac. I mean, I I just can't see it running well, considering it barely ran well on anything without crazy amounts <laughs> I of. I mean, say, yeah. <laughs> but just for context, like, let me search Cyberpunk on PS4. <laughs> Day one, oh, dude, it was it was bad. Yeah, let me see. It was bad. Yeah. Yeah, here we go. Like this was uh this was yeah, 3 years ago, day 1 gameplay. Th- this looks better better than it sh- oh. Oh, uh, it's gone. No, the yeah, game it's... I mean, to be oh. fair, the game was also a wreck. But the th- I feel like there's really two bad. issues with this. Like obviously when they said Cyberpunk coming to the Mac, I thought my first thought was like holy shit. These things are really powerful now. Second thought is, this game came out four years ago, (laughs) Uh so this is a little late. And third thought is, almost certainly, you will have to buy the game again on the Mac. Because that's how they've done it before, and that pisses me off. Yeah, this was pretty rough. Um, I mean, this is not... (laughs) Holy cow, that looked terrible. (laughs) Yeah. So uh, I guess this is my benchmark. If it looks better from this, that'll be actually pretty impressive. Oh, it will. It will. The PS4, I mean, I'm pretty sure an M2 MacBook Air is faster than a PS4. I'm not going to lie. <laughs> PS4 is pretty rough. Um, Terrible Yeah, I mean, this is, I agree. I used to be a PlayStation boy, and now I, I, I'm back on Xbox full time. I mean, a PC for COD, but I think I'm actually thinking about buying an Xbox because well, one for GTA 6 next year, and it's kind of confirmed that Xbox is not releasing any new hardware for, I think, three or four years still. Mm. And, oh, really? Yeah, because they had a plan for a leaked one, and then for some reason they canceled it. Because um, this is the mid cycle. We're due for, this year was supposed to be the mid cycle refresh, like the PS5 Pro. Uh, that oh, happened. yeah. Yeah. And Xbox just didn't release anything. And I'm with John. I I actually used to be a PS5. Like I loved I I was a, a stan for PlayStation. And then over the years, especially for like FPS, I've been playing more and I mean the Xbox controller is just better. Uh it's just So better. what did Sony do wrong? Cuz I also used to be a P a PlayStation guy. I had a PS2, I had a PS3. Oh, what PS2 where did they go wrong? Peak. I mean, it's just kind of the same controller, and I think I've realized I just mm. play better with the Xbox controller. Unironically, so it really is just about the controller. I Not genuinely like the software, you know, I, the support. Oh no, games. everything else about Sony I like better. Every literally really? every other part of of the experience, huh. the brand. Couldn't you just buy like a third party controller that was Xbox? Is good. Is good. Uh, like eight bit do? Have you heard of them? Could I buy a scuff controller for PlayStation that was shaped like an Xbox? Is that possible? I don't see why now not. That sounds like a now I'm curious. If, if that's not a thing, it just became a thing, and we're not going to release this until we make it a thing. <laughs> yeah. Uh, um, yeah. The very 
the single best controller on the planet is actually, and it's not even close, the Nintendo Switch Pro Controller is the best controller ever made. Mm. It's glorious. And it's not close. I am not seeing a way to switch this controller, John. Well, you're on Facebook. Oh, that is bad. I don't that like that the uh, I don't like that the what do you call them the thumbsticks are like that close together and at the same height. I like that the Xbox has them exactly. at like different levels. I need you to look up the Victrix V I C T R I X Pro. What'd you just call that? Me? Sounds like a scam. It is, what but is you should. This? It, it it was so easy to find. You it's just an Xbox shaped PlayStation controller. Yeah, but and this is some horrific. weird stuff. That's at Best Buy right Bro, now for one hundred fifty dollars. Does look it's one hundred eighty on their website. What a deal at Best Buy. I don't know. I just the there's a lot of happening on this thing, and well, I mean, you don't need that's just proof of concept. If you just okay, Google okay, Xbox okay. style PS five controller, somebody somewhere has made it. They've got it. Let's see. Okay, Razor Wolverine. Look at that. There you go. That's a trusted name. 67 bucks. That's cheaper oh, than it, an Xbox. It says for Xbox, though. Ah, hell no. Oh. Do, does there, this uh, work with PS4? Oh, well, look at that. Look at the Reddit thing. Is there a way to use an Xbox Series controller on PS5? Doesn't work. Never doesn't mind. work. Immediately. Oh, doesn't work. Damn. Um, Didn't even have to click the link. Oh, the top comment. Damn. Yeah, it's the not great. Sucks ass. Yeah, there you go. We've it's got not great. That is kind of rough. It. Imagine going through all the effort of designing a game console and like all the software for it, and then people are like, "Yeah, but the controller sucks, donkey, because my <laughs> fingers are in the wrong place." And then it's still not as bad it. as PS3. So yeah, yeah. Anyone remember PS3 controller? Yeah, but I oh, that was God, the one that I, I loved the most. It was basically empty inside. That's why I'm sick in the head. <laughs> Wait, did you say you liked that one? You hate the yeah, PS5 one, it. but you like that one. No, no, no. That I, I, that was that was when I was a little boy, Sam, and I I was I said to everybody P- PlayStation's the best. I was a okay. PlayStation kid. I wonder but, how many sales came through because of you alone. I can, It's I better to be a I PlayStation can, kid than an iPad kid, I'll tell you that though. <laughs> True. Should I get a choop? Sorry. A choop. Oh. You never heard of a choop? <laughs> you, you go, sorry? <laughs> I was like, you should definitely get a choop. Look at it. Cosmetic surgery or something? Ooh, it's perfect. Three and a half stars for a $38 controller. That's it's tough. also. But 500 bot this past for month. PlayStation. It's not. Yeah, you're right. This is just all for Xbox. Can we talk uh, about okay, how my dreams Amazon are dead? My has dreams just are done. become like AliExpress? It really has. It really like, has. literally everything on there is like, here's the choop. Here's the like. Here's the truth. I'm not going to say truth. any further names for fear of <laughs> you probably you can say whatever you want happening. as a hot dog. But like everybody knows what I'm talking about. <laughs> she froze dog whistling on the cheetahs for our podcast. Jesus. I'm not dog whistling. I'm just saying <laughs> it is interesting to see the names that have been selected as company names on amazon.com. That's it. And you're saying choop sounds like what? I'm saying it sounds like a cosmetic surgery that you might have on your undercarriage, you're, Sam. I'm just going to say. Undercarriage. <laughs> yo, sounds uh, like uh, yo. little buddy needed some now, attention. Sam, have now, you ever I even seen your choop. undercarriage or do you have to like look down through all the clouds? <laughs> you know, I, I just choose to believe that I don't need choop sur- surgery. I'll say that. Okay. I don't know, <laughs> but I, I choose to believe that I'm I'm good. All right. Um, okay. That was Mac Week. I this is here's the problem, and I just want to say this because this is where my mental state's at. Mm-hmm. Uh, I think we're cooked for six months. Oh, we're absolutely mm. cooked for six months. Yeah, but you yeah. know what? Podcast yeah. doesn't take a break, no matter how bad it gets out there. This one. <sighs> What yeah, are you guys but... gonna talk about? Oh, you mean what are we gonna talk about, Luke? You are this. Is oh, your are you gonna bring me on? in here as yeah, like a sort of a circus <laughs> show? So that hot dog I can costume reviews. <laughs> whatever we can, every whatever week we, we try can a new costume. Oh uh, no! Uh, week forty, okay, we're like cheeseburger. We really like do we <laughs> do we think that John Turnus is the next CEO? Because I think so. Yes, I think it's yep. John Turnus's turnus. 
<laughs> my only thought is like if 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 age is a factor, I'm not saying that he's old, but like nah. he's not that much younger than than Tim. It'll do. I guess he, he is like he feels younger. Yeah. He feels youthful. Years. I believe it. And he's quirky, but most importantly, oh no, he's he, safe. he's 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 ten years younger than Tim. I like that it says that's perfect CEO. Uh, it says age. he was born in May. Okay. 19, he he is exactly He's, forty-nine years. What do you mean about? Uh, yeah, Tim. Cook, okay, so they're four. Oh. They're fifteen years. Oh apart. yeah. Okay. What? No, that, well, that why, checks out. why are they doing Tim dirty with this Tim, image? Tim has I got. I think that he looks better now. That's the and, famous oh, birthdays page. Up. Wait, it's kind of crazy to think about the fact that we are on the same website as Tim Cook. I'm not. I'm not. You are. I'm not. You guys aren't on Famous Birthdays? No, bro. Look, John nope. Prosser. Nope. Sam Cole. Nope. Watch this. What? Luke Miani. Yep. I guess he's the Let's only one that's go. famous. YouTube you star. Also, Let's wow. boost you. I just boosted you. Oh, hell yeah. Whatever he that does. Mass more than, wow, they, they have you, like, up to date. What? Wait, what? Who's Hang on. Wait. Associated up- with. Both he and Austin Evans published tech videos on YouTube. That is true. <laughs> that, that's a fact. That Bro, is a imagine thing. Being, imagine being the 27th December 16th YouTube star. You're not even top oh, 10. Dude, that is embarrassing. Who's number one? I should delete my account. <laughs> Grayson and Ethan. Here's the thing about YouTube. I don't who know who are half any of these of people, those people are. Lisa Gaming Roblox? <sighs> Yeah, but you're not on who, it, Sam. Dude, that is actually crazy. Wait, who is? That's wait, John, hilarious. your birthday is August twelfth. All, all set. August twelfth. YouTube deaths stars. Oh, you're cooking. Dream. Oh, never Uh-oh. mind. Uh-oh. Never mind. We're done. And I will say this about man? famous birthdays: they are fair. They they are actually like legit. Like when. I, when when they put me on there, they did actually email me to confirm the information, which was what? surprising. How, how are like how do they decide? Like us? I don't understand. Don't know. How do they pick I you think and it's Austin a Wikipedia Evans thing that are associated I think with it's each a other. thing where I think they basically uh, just like people submit to the website, like, "Hey, this is a person that you should consider," and then they verify it. <laughs> okay, dude, on my birthday. I don't know any of these people, the so I doo-doo? think I actually have Who a is chance. The doo-doo? Oh, Star Wars oh. Theory? Never mind. I'm cooked. I know that channel. And that's 14, yeah. dog. Who, you're, who you're, is you're the doo doo? So. He's from Missouri as well. Wait, I'm from Missouri. Where is, is that this you? From? Is this supposed to be your profile? I don't know, but like, who are. I guess. I don't know. Unboost. Damn, How do I unboost? I, I sh- what is boost mean? Also- what does that mean? I'll tell you what, though. I am the oh. number 10 Sagittarius named Luke on uh, <laughs> Famous <laughs> Birthdays. Bro, Amazing. Like, I'm the number one so, Luke uh, Miani on Famous Birthdays, bro. <laughs> that is true. That is true. I'm behind okay. Luke Pingu, who is, of course, a YouTube content creator and personality best known. Okay. Now, here's what I want to know, is how is this guy, how is this guy number six with 100,000 subscribers on a soccer trivia challenges and games YouTube channel? <laughs> Explain that, that to true. me. Listen, you got, you got one up, man. I don't, you, you Wait, know. he's on at 100K and I have, we both have 500K yeah. we're not on here? Well, how do you, how do you submit somebody? Where's the submit part? Oh, Contact. <laughs> let's, let's submit. Is this no. related? No. All right. How is Sam this guy? Cole. Dude, this guy's this guy's only getting 10k views. Why is he and number 6 and I'm birthdays? number 10? Number Sam, 10 are you submitting yourself? Luke? No, I oh I'm not going to submit you it. Can. But I will submit John Prosser. No, this do not. Rigged. Do not submit me. It feels Contact. illegal. You it feels Sam how Cole. terrible to be like, "Hey guys, I don't know if you know about me, but uh my birthday's on August 12th, and I get tens of people to watch me. Please. Does anyone go on wow. that website? I think so. Hey, Sam, you should start one called Famous or Birthdays. <laughs> Tech and birthdays. it's just com. us three. Yes. <laughs> well, who's who's one, two, and three? 
Oh no! Oh, terrible leak! Oh no! What a fucking That's shit bag! So good. Best friend, my dick. What a terrible! What a. Ter oh my god! You're no, writing it. No, I mean seriously. Like I guarantee it's just a matter of like I. I feel like there is a small amount of overlap between our audience and the users of famousbirthdays.com. So, so I feel like it's just a matter of us. like. Yeah. No, honestly, now that you've mentioned it on the <laughs> podcast, guarantee. You guys are on this oh site within a week. We're going to piss them off so much. So many people are going to... Oh, my God. This is such a mistake. Yeah, they are. And you August know what? 12, they should all right? go to... Look up Luke Miani and yeah. boost me. I want to be the number one Sagittarius named Luke on Hang Famous on, Birthdays. Hang on. I'll boost right? you. How do I do this? Famous Thank you. Famous Birthdays. Thank you. Luke Miani. How did you, you get on there? You to go to... Luke, I did you submit I'm, yourself? All I know real. is a couple... No, I didn't. A couple of years ago, I got an I email uh, asking for it to confirm the information. What a shit fucking website! It's so bad. I, it's a, it's a very scientific measure of fame, as we know. Yeah, who's number one trending right now? Sabrina Young Carpenter. Thug. Oh my oh, god! No, sorry, oh, dude, dude we're year also year cooked. It's all TikTokers and Instagram people. We're so done. Oh yeah. yeah. No, I, well, Isn't I mean, it crazy, that's though? the demographic of this website. That's why you're not on here is because people that watch uh, us. Don't Sam's go on TikTok. On He's a TikTok star. Yeah, I am a. T you know, I am. Like who? He is a who TikTok star. Who are these star. people, bro? I've never heard of most of these people, and they're. Like, it's Tom Hanks. Wow, you're bro, on the same website. How is Tom, Tom Hanks, Hanks next Tom to Hanks? Fiji TV Duddy? <laughs> <laughs> how like? <laughs> Like what? What world are we in, bro? No, you're Who the so hell is right. Fi because Fiji I'm TV Duddy. From from my page, it said Luke Miani is a member of 25 year old celebrities, and the names on here are crazy. It's like Sabrina Carpenter, James <laughs> Charles, Madison Beer, and then it goes down to Ben of the Week, TikTok star. What and. Oh, yeah. Oh, the Dobre brothers. Okay, fair enough. And Lil what? Nas X is on here, like an actual person. This It's such <laughs> this a is... weird mix of like yeah. actual It's like famous actually people famous people, people that like pull totally numbers. <laughs> that Wait, Martin Trippy kid, fun fact, is actually more famous, as it turns out, than Joey King, the actor. <laughs> so that makes sense. This is Everybody's weird. heard of of Purple Stars O two. <laughs> of course, <laughs> just don't understand how are they ranking these things. These all look know. like MySpace profile pictures. They really do. Also, yeah, they're like so. All low these quality. people are younger than me. What the hell? We fell off, bro. Yeah, no, we are we are absolutely cooked. Damn. Mm. Uh, well, listen, if if you guys are gonna go to famous birthdays, uh, don't submit me. My only request, instead of submitting me, is find a way to get Luke's picture replaced with, like, this. <laughs> <laughs> no, please. I don't want to be a hot dog on every famous time, birthdays. Every time you look yourself up or have to, or you're like, hey, I'm on this website, that's what you're going to look like. That's my only request. Okay, my last question. Hot dog Luke should actually get his own profile, I think. Uh, yeah, <laughs> hot dog Luke is like a <laughs> yeah. separate one. Uh -huh. Okay. Here's my question. Yeah. What ad. is this? It's an ad. But what, they didn't pay for this. They didn't pay for this. Hold on, hold on. It says Apple. What? What is this? Is this an official partnership? We're going to get hacked. <laughs> okay, Wait, okay. What? Let me. You on I don't know. It's a space Apple? MMO, but it says it's, I guess it's a mobile game. Oh, no. Probably. Why is okay. this on my video? Oh, no. Because I wanted to show a shot uh -oh. that I actually thought was astounding. Okay. And I wanted, I wanted to, it was, it's this one right here. Okay. How, and I never got to talk about this last week. How in the world did you pull <laughs> off this <laughs> shot right here? How did you do that? Yeah, that's because, insane. listen, I, I love you, but as a video creator, some of the other shots, I'm like, I can kind of tell, you know, okay. it's this one, I can't tell. Like this one looks as if you went inside of Apple Park and had their full production team. And I don't know how. How did you do this? So a couple of the shots got uh, my favorite. My favorite like environments are this one and then the the last outside one. one. Yeah, 
So yes, I think those, those look best to me. Correct. Uh, basically, what happened there was a lot in editing. A few of the locations got swapped, so they weren't perfectly like we lit for one location, mm. but in the edit, it got mm. swapped. These ones were like perfectly lit for like we we had shot on an iPad. The shot from Apple were able to duplicate the lighting in like chroma key in real time almost to see our shot and make it match that. Uh, the transition that happens there is uh, just motion track and like yeah, but that's so here's crazy. ambient question, occlusion is, with shadows did you but you're did crazy. you use like how did you an actual this? existing shot from an apple event or oh did yeah you dude that has johnny create that no that has johnny so in did it. you just paint him out and then yeah. call it a day yeah we had to but paint, it's but but it's moving paint him. on the sides and it's dollying it's not just okay. that's all it's an illusion bro it's all it's a very pr i'm very proud of this illusion but it's just an illusion. And once I tell you, it ruins it. But so you got to tell, tell me because I brought it up on the podcast. Okay, so the way this happened was uh, <laughs> you'll notice that as it cuts from like a wide yeah, shot of me to a close yes. up, the back, look at the back square. Watch the back square. Like the back room behind me, I guess. Not, it's not the same. You, f mm. you ruined it. Huh? I, this you. is a terrible video. I did warn you. Okay, no. so this is not even good. <laughs> okay, <laughs> so this is actually so okay. incredible, and you're so wildly talented. I'm so just kidding. Oh, yeah, we uh, we just AI'd people out, but we also had AI shadows, and that got a little rough because you can take the person out, but there's still evidence that they were in the room that makes it. That's the actual difficult part. Uh, so mm -hmm. that's why sometimes that's the crazy. backgrounds from close to wide are a little bit different. Uh, but what you're seeing there was when we started this project and the, f the first time we did our test shots, what we did was to simulate motion because there's, there's always motion in an Apple event. Yeah. So what we did was literally just moved. Like for the wide shots, we zoomed in slowly. And for the, for the close-up shots, we just like went horizontally. But that didn't sell it very well because you were – Obviously, like the background and me are moving at the same time. So then we tested another effect where we just, I moved me faster than I moved the background. And so that started a little bit like, okay, it had a little bit of a parallax effect. What really sells it is, oh, look, the iPad mini that I opened last week that I don't even use. So Aww. what's happening is here's the background, same. right? It's not just moving this way. I'm I'm moving completely in a 2D plane, but this is also pivoting on the y-axis as it goes around. So, like, if you had a real camera and you were going around me, let's say you're pivoting to the right, the material and information on the right of the screen would be coming closer to you. So we have that pivoting closer to you as you. It's just it's all fake. It's all an illusion. It's not real. But it looks real. Th that shot is motion tracked. The, these, that's crazy. these motion tracks, yeah, it's all an illusion that your eyes are just falling for. I'm not actually moving. I, I'm moving only 2D. It kind of looks like the camera's moving around me, but it's all 2D. Yes. And then that's the shots are blended later. That the, you have, so correct me if I'm wrong, but you're saying that you have your, your clean plate behind you where you have a static image mm -hmm. that you've cut out Johnny, and you've mm -hmm. AI'd him over there, yeah. And then you've put that on a plane behind you, and you're rotating, it, cropped in, of course, and you're sort of rotating the plane behind you. Well, are you rotating your 2D plane as well, or no. are you static and I'm, you're just doing the background? So, uh, it wouldn't work for me because human eyes, like, especially if you're focusing on me. If I get to a certain degree, you'll see that I'm just a 2D yeah, object you're gonna get that's being compressed. pivoted. So what we're doing is we're we're only pivoting the background by seven degrees each shot. Sometimes it's mm -hmm. it depends on which which side we're going to because we we sort of trade which direction the camera is going in. It's the same effect. It's just opposite direction. So it's either plus seven degrees right. or minus seven degrees. That's all that's happening. The the I am moving. There's three things that are happening. I'm moving. And the background is moving. I'm moving faster than the background. So that creates the parallax effect. What creates the depth is while the background is is moving 
slowly, it's also pivoting slowly in a 3D space. So it's, it, I think when it happens that slowly and smoothly, you're, you buy it. And it, it mm-hmm. seemed to have worked. Dude, I mean, th- this did. was this was crazy. Th- also, this was so funny when you did the <laughs> turn around. Thank you. But like, <laughs> even this shot, I st- I don't know how how did you how did you get your reflection on the ground? Like, it's that's called, actually it's your called ass. ambient occlusion. <laughs> that's actually your ass. It's called yeah, ambient occlusion. Not- uh, like for the motion track shots, Asher did these the motion tracked ones, and then everything else like the wide shots. When you see my shadow on the ground, that's like. We we put that there. It's just, and that is what crippled my poor, poor, the, poor Mac Studio. So, can I guess how you did the shadow? Yeah, or the reflection, I suppose. Yeah. It what was it? As simple as you took the yeah. There we go. You Sorry, took the 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 cutout, basically a little two D John shape, inverted it, changed the opacity, and yeah, bada bing, bada boom. The uh, okay. go okay, go. I don't. This is so in depth, but go to the, like the outside like Apple October event shot, this like one? The, the ending one. There's a motion track there that is fucking smooth as hell. These are the shots that really sell that I'm there, which is why we tried to include a few of them. So my shadow on the ground there, I am so happy with. All that is yeah. is. Uh, the exposure, it's a duplicate of, of my layer with exposure turned all the way down so it's complete black, laid on top, and then it's feathered uh, with another layer behind it. So there's there's actually two me's creating the shadow. One is closer to my feet, and it is mm. it is less blurry and higher opacity, and the one underneath that is blurrier, more Gaussian blur, and lower opacity. So it starts and to that like creates that fall off as yeah. you move further away from your yeah. body because the sh- the light is going to diffuse more the further the away this? it is from you. Yeah. Oh my goodness. If you guys are ever curious, yeah. that's called ambient occlusion, like creating like uh, realistic shadows and stuff if you ever want to do it for your videos. It's a fucking pain in the dick, but it's really cool at the end. This is just crazy. Um and then also I just got to give you props. I meant to do this last week because it was like topical, but this um this ending part was like I think my favorite thing in any of YouTube video I saw the entire year. What? Why? Cause it was so I don't know how you did this. Like, how did you do this? Oh, all the testing you made it shots? look cool. How did you do that? <laughs> so yeah, originally that's crazy. <laughs> originally yeah, that is the, crazy. The idea was to shoot outside completely. And yeah, just replace the background. So all that's happening there is it's called rotoscoping. If you ever want to be interested in that, and it's literally, no. you okay? Are you ready? Yeah. Frame it's, by frame, cut them out. It's a perfect trace, frame by frame, thousands of frames. It is a nightmare, and it's not worth the nightmare because it to me it doesn't look as good as what actually made it in the video. The, okay, ground, the say, ground looks incredible. Go, I will go say. back though, because that first shot that you showed there, that one, yeah, that first shot that you showed where it was like daylight, where you didn't have the fog, that looked that one really. Re- no, keep going. Just a, just a smudge further. Oh, the next one. It's this first one. Yeah, right, right when he goes, bloop. That that that. Yeah looks fucking yeah. crazy good. <laughs> I get why you didn't do that because I can see what you're doing there. It's, the you know, edges. You, like if you really look you at the edges, it's just... You have a feathered edge on your grass and then you have a feathered edge on the other grass to kind of blend them together. Yeah. You can kind of see the seam a little bit, but it blends and I really, really well. I really liked that because that really made it phys- it made it feel like tangible. Like I'm, uh, I'm standing yeah. in grass. There's grass around me. So with the new method... The way we compromised was I bought a bunch of turf. So there's, I, we have rolls of turf now. There was like three inch tall grass blades that we filmed on. So like when I'm outside in this in this keynote video, I'm standing on turf. Hmm. Yeah. No. I mean that. I'm, I'm that just is, standing that's on turf. Exactly how. 
that's how you sell it. That's how it's done in actual movies is your your immediate surroundings are physical and then you can blend it into a background and it Yeah. Like I feel like if you go back and watch like the uh the Star Wars prequels, those are infamous for being completely uh, yeah. immersion breaking because every single shot is like cut out of person with a CG background and it yeah, does not yeah. look real at all. Like it's so obvious to us now when you see just like a 2D cutout on a background. Yeah. And I I think that you were really, really smart about having that thing that physically grounds you to the space. Even mm-hmm. just the parallax thing like that, just creating some motion so it's not just, okay, yeah, he's in front of a green screen with yeah. a picture behind him. Yeah, like look yeah, at my right actually, foot. For here, look, for my the right feet, foot here you, is questionable. Sorry, you stage cut right. the. Oh, I see. My left yeah. foot. So you've, like, you've replaced the turf. You didn't keep the turf in that shot, right? Anytime I'm standing on grass, there's turf. Well, oh, so wow. is it? Bl- you've blended the turf into the. So for apples. this, oh, I can see it. I can see like right here. It turns back to apples. Uh, no, you're gonna hate. You're gonna hate when you hear this. You're gonna hate the amount of work that this sounds like. But I and I get it. <laughs> but in this shot, so I'm I'm standing in a like I'm surrounded by green screen. Okay. Okay. Mm-hmm. On the floor is turf. And the way we pulled this off, because we couldn't get the turf to match the luscious, like, healthy, dark look of Apple's grass. Yeah, it's not going to look the same as real grass. So what we did is, with green screen, you can chroma key the green out. We added an, an, another layer of chroma key specifically for the turf color. So it's cr- it's getting rid of the green out of the turf, but leaving the texture of the turf in my shoes. And then that allows the actual grass in the picture from Apple Park to appear through those, like, cutouts in my shoes to make it look like I'm in the grass. It's a nightmare, and I don't oh, recommend you're... it. <laughs> but it's I saw, I saw you were teasing that you're going to do this again, it sounds like. Uh, the goal, I mean, the reaction was really, really good. Uh, an incredible. Pro- I mean, probably it, best it looks better the second time I'm watching it, honestly. Probably best reactions we've ever gotten in a comment section. Uh, and the goal is to do this every uh, Apple event to one up them. The uh, when the, the when Apple drops invites that same evening, our in our event will go out. So, like, whenever Apple drops an, an event invite the same day as the invite, you'll get one of these. That's the plan. I love. Oh, hey, you, I'll tell you, you what. You are gonna hand. get better and better. The thing is, that does knowing how much you went through for this event, I'm like, holy shit, that's a lot of work. But every time you do it, it'll get yeah. a little smoother, and you'll be able to build off of what you've been wow. learning. And Especially I'm sure, with better apples. Knowing you, <laughs> that it's gonna get fancier and fancier and crazier and crazier. <sighs> Well, I, I mean, I really appreciate that. Obviously, I spent a lot of time doing it, and it was a, it was like a fucking nightmare. But uh, yeah, I'm very happy with the results, and I think that uh, I think we can do it better next time for sure. I think, don't know, mm. uh, but we're we're definitely going to give it. I attempt. I think you can. I yeah, think you a new will. Apple Silicon because will I think help. that it's it's not yeah. really about. Because here's the thing, John. Here's the thing about you. Oh, God. you <laughs> aren't operating on like a. You know, you're you're never gonna sit there and go, oh well, you know, it's good enough. It's it's I don't really feel like doing anymore. No, you're you're way too ambitious and perfectionist for that. (laughs) And so I know for a fact that (laughs) I mean the, the the smart person's thing to do would be like, okay, I now know how to do this and I can now do it to this level of quality in less time. But knowing you, you're going to take the same amount of time and just try to do more stuff. So it'll be just as stressful. I'm afraid of the escalation. Go, I'm excited and Yeah, afraid. every single time we're going to notch it up. And then eventually, I swear to God, in like a year from now, Sam and I are going to get a text. And, and you're going to be like, dude, I made myself look like Tim Cook. And I AI'd Tim I re- Cook's head onto my head. And now I I'm literally t- controlling I him Sam's like a puppet. Body. 
Uh, well, the, so the real the plan that I want to do here, I'm so sad that we just missed the iPhone event. Like this would have been a perfect thing to yeah. try with the iPhone event, but I think mm-hmm. it worked out this way too. Um, for the big events like iPhone, I uh, it doesn't matter if I say it. Um, combination of a past idea that Sam had, I want to have like my friends host too. Like I want you guys to come here. And we put you in it, too. I think that would be a nice surprise for the audience. Nice nice little cameos, you know? Yeah. You should leave that part out so that nobody expects it when, when you do it. Oh, none of that stuff was real? All the bleeped out stuff? You'll never... Uh, hopefully, we were, I, every time we're like, let's bleep this out, we never do. Yeah, it's a, it's a questionable thing. Every time oh, I you hear know. you guys say, oh, we'll edit that out, I'm like, okay, we'll see. <laughs> it's not <Okay>. happening. <laughs> I really yeah, appreciate I mean, that, hey, guys. Thank you so much. Bro, yeah, you, you took action. People do not know this in the background, but I have had the idea to recreate an Apple event since 2021. But I yours think. is like Literally, real. Yeah, mine would have no green screen. <laughs> yeah. Mine would all be like physical and done. And dude, just seeing how much work went into this for you, like I know I would also want to make it look really real. And I just think it would, I would basically have to take a month off for making videos. And that's what I did for the way my, <laughs> yeah. yeah, for the way my, like you see, but you're crazy. You'll be like, I'll just give up a month of money for one video. Well, like, and I'm like, I don't really want to like, give up that much eat, money because I have to pay rent. Yeah. That's <laughs> yeah. what works though. It's like taking risks like that. I don't, I feel yeah. like, uh, like there's some weird stuff that happened with this video. Like the, uh, for a while, the public views were 50 K higher than the back end views. And then now the back end views are 50 K higher. It's like, anyway, the, at some point, Something Whoa. happened and I, the video like died. So whatever, cool with that. We're still gonna do it again. Uh, but yeah, overall, like it was. It's risks like that that I think pay off. And uh, I think in this case, we just learned that it's possible. Like, and that to oh, me yeah. is worth it because when we first started this project, it yeah. halfway through the month, I almost gave up, and it was like I was very frustrated. I couldn't get anything to look like I wasn't proud enough to put a single frame in the view of public and <laughs> that was the thing that changed my mind it was like well if i if we stop now we wasted the whole month and we'll what did we do we just put out another regular video and like just m- completely miss out on on this month so we had to t- we at that point we just had to commit and take a chance on it and now we know that it's possible it turned out much better than I think the initial idea, or at least what I had in my head. Uh, so we can do it again, and that's the focus: is doing it again someday, not now, ever, <laughs> not for the rest How? of the year. Uh, yeah. Well, dude, you've got six months is, until yeah. Dub Dub, and then you can, oh, God. then you can really go to town oh, on it. Oh no! <laughs> Terrible. Uh, yeah. Well, it was, it was a lot, but uh, worth it. I didn't so are you, you, you doing one video a month? Is that is that the official thing? You're doing one video a month now? Because that's kind of been what you've been doing. Uh, not on purpose. You see what <laughs> happened was. Well, I yeah. always have an idea that seems much quicker to do. And then when we're halfway mm-hmm. through and we're in full panic mode, we're like, oh, this is not coming out until next month. Like, yeah. it's so tragic here's every here's my time. question is, why do you put yourself in so many panic situations? <laughs> Because that's that's the best way to live. Like that's I that think that's how I thrive. On. Yeah, I think that's what I thrive on. Is like that's crazy. The pressure. I yeah. wish I honestly I wish that I could have that same level of like living on the danger zone. Oh my god, is this project going to turn out, or will I waste a month with no money? I mean, look at look at okay, look at what's ha- like where Front Page Tech is now as opposed to like this time last year. We were making yeah. super easy, repeatable. I could, we could do it with our eyes closed. Make that show, and I hated my fucking life. Sam went through the same thing. Like, how many times with Genius Bar did we sit here and like <laughs> vent about the job? Yeah, not complain, but more explain the issues with the job. Oh wow, and that's I, that's good yeah. PR for us. And I think, I mean, Craig and Tim, um, <laughs> he's rewriting think, history a little bit there. I think that this is the year we're like. We haven't really done that because Sam and I have taken a massive step back and I think completely changed both content strategies. Sam, I don't know what the fuck you're talking about. You're not putting out six videos a month, 12 videos a month. Well, did September, I put out, I think, eight or nine. September is your month, though. Yeah, but I, that was, yeah, I definitely have got, 
How many went I've in definitely October? gone to the point. I mean, Luke's, Luke saw me. I was up till 5 a.m. in Australia editing one night. Um, mm-hmm. I missed an entire day of fun in New Zealand because I stayed home filming and editing. I mean, all these things paid off and I'm happy about it. But I have definitely reached a point in my life where I am starting to say, how much work is worth it? Like, yes, September financially was my best month ever. It was really cool, really, really happy. Cool. Thank you, everybody, for watching. Crazy, never thought that would happen. But I also worked nonstop for 30 days. And yeah, that's, that's just like lot. not, that's just not good for a person, I don't think. And no. even this month, like my parents are in town visiting this week, and I've had to like work a bunch throughout it. And, It's just, I want to take a break, but there's so many deadlines. And obviously, you know, it's like one day, I always just go back to this. It's like, well, I want to buy a house in LA and I can either do it now and work hard while I'm young or be 65 still renting because it's like home prices apparently just are never coming down. It's just, you need $1.5 million for a home. That's just what you need Mm -hmm. out here. So I better, I better keep make. I better keep having you green sponsor videos is (laughs) is how it's going to be. Yeah. I Um, I think that's, I think that's just like. If if I had to sit down and be like, is the amount of work we're doing financially worth it? The answer is absolutely no. But <laughs> but do I see like not even a little bit? But do I see a path forward with this and it being oh, yeah. worth it eventually? Yes. I think what I'm focused on. I think I'm having a little bit of a crisis, and what I'm focused on mostly right now is the fact that I'm asking people for their time and like. If I know I can do better, for, like either way, if I'm going to end up with 10 minutes of their time, I can give them 10 minutes of front page tech or what we just made. And if I, if I care about their experience, I want to give them, I want them to be like, holy shit, I watched that for free. Even the ads, mm-hmm. like we're trying to, especially with this video, we, we did the ads as Craig yeah, because I saw that. it's like, one, we don't want you to skip the ad, obviously, for retention's sake. But we can't ask you not to do that if you're just getting a commercial. Like, you have to get something, too. So that's why we did the whole Craig bit into the ad, tried to, like... And who knows, maybe that's not enough to get people to watch an ad. But it's like, you know, it's it's a further attempt. We're trying to learn how to, like, earn more of your time. And I think, I think after a while, people, what they accept out of, like, YouTube and tech YouTube in general is going to change. I think what we used to be and the 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 sort of uh not the path but the the niche that we carved out here is now being taken by TikTok and Instagram. Like the casual yeah, YouTube aspect of YouTube is now TikTok and Instagram and YouTube is becoming what TV used to be. And I feel like mm. if we don't adapt, we're going to get run over like real fast. So that's why mm-hmm. I think I'm trying to like just be more mindful of what I'm asking you to watch. And if I lose money for the first year of doing that, then that'll be worth it. If I, if I lose money the second year, then let's sit down and have a talk. Okay. Yeah. Front page tech coming back. Five minute videos, <laughs> three ads. <laughs> That's so interesting. I mean, Hey, I, I think you bring up a very good point. I mean, this, this week was sort of the, I would call it the c- c- cementation, uh, the finalization of my new content strategy. I mean, a year ago, I would have made a video every day on the new Apple products. Yeah. They came out like on one a new. But I I'm gonna be knew, honest, it felt weird. I knew <laughs> I knew that I would not break hundred K views on maybe more than one of those videos. I just that's just the facts. Well it's um, like there's what, nothing what could I could present say? in my video that would yeah, there's nothing I could present in my video that would be better than Luke Miani or exactly. Max Tech's video on a Mac. And I think so it's that's like, okay. why would I I think that's okay yeah. to like admit. I think for a while with tech YouTube, it seems like we are all like the information is not new most of the time, no. and no one is actually adding anything. They're just trying to take their own piece of what Apple is putting down. Like they are trying to, they are trying to steal time from every viewer, and it's the same video. They're not actually doing anything. They're just trying to get their cut. Where I think if you start to think about like. What you're contributing to the community, I think that changes a lot. And sometimes that literally starts with dropping your ego for a bit and being like, Luke Miani does this better. I'm not going to impede on that. Because if I try, then I'm like, somehow I'm trying to convince them to spend 10 minutes with me instead of Luke. 
and Luke yeah. is far more knowledgeable, and they should absolutely spend that ten minutes with him. And so I think and that I'm is, trying to. I'm already trying to, you know, kind of hold on to that position because the. I mean, Sam mentioned Max Tech. Max Tech. I I am also trying to adapt my content strategy because they. I mean, it's like a three four person team. They do the the benchmarks. They have a super like effective formula for that. So, you know, when it comes down to my reviews this year, I'm taking a different approach. I'm taking a more story driven approach that uses the benchmarks as kind of a supplement to tell a larger story. Because I think you're right. And I I, I mean Listening to you guys over this past year uh, and, and how you guys have really, I think, done a lot with your channels and your formats, I think is motivating me to to, to make some changes as Hell well. Yeah. Because, I mean, you guys have absolutely been smoking me this year. I mean, Bro, I, my channel on. has been doing... No, I mean, you can't deny it. John is getting five, six, seven hundred K views on those iPhone videos. Sam has been doing three, four, five hundred K. I have been very consistently, I've been dealing with this for, for years now, but I get hard stuck at two to three hundred. Like, I will it's, have it, uh, it's, videos, it, even the eBay video that I worked on that, John, you helped hmm. me with the thumbnail, even that video got pretty hard stuck at like 350. I'm going to say something that is going to make us all sad, but I Uh-oh. fully believe in. Uh-oh. Less videos is the answer. And... It's like, see, okay, it's that's tough I, because I you have to make money. Though. Yeah, yeah. The problem is, so, so I definitely have been doing that, and it did help. But I think that I reached a point that was partially out of my control, where I think it it overcorrected, and it was not enough mm. videos. Um, mm. b- but you know, twenty twenty two, twenty twenty three, at the beginning, especially. I was doing way too many videos. It was like every three to four days. Yeah, dude, I, that, your and pace was crazy. I could not no one in the world that. edits as fast as you. There's not enough. Yeah. More I am a very fast editor. editor. I'm not a great editor, but I am very. <laughs> I am good enough for how fast I am. So yeah, that's crazy. And I'm okay with that fact. I I I've been unhappy in the past with my editing skills when I've tried to do fancy stuff like you, John. But I think my strength really is just in the efficiency, and I'm just going to have to accept that fact and make the most of it. Um, sure. But I think you're, you're right. Less videos is definitely an important factor. But especially this summer, I had a confluence of, of factors. I was doing a lot of traveling you know, for that, that <laughs> yeah. car channel video that I was working on and a bunch Phenomenal, of other stuff. By the way. Thank you. And yeah, uh, I also you. had... A bunch of issues with brands and they were taking forever for approvals and it was a whole thing. I had like this one video that I filmed and I sat on it for like a month because I couldn't get a sponsor approval for it. It was a whole whole, whole bunch of factors. That. But I definitely, definitely got to a point where I was like, okay, there are not enough videos here. I, I don't have enough content to keep people interested and engaged. Mm-hmm. I think the sweet spot is roughly weekly six to eight days is that's what not, i yeah, think that's not a bad thing to shoot works for. best especially story driven stuff it's yeah, yeah it's the story driven it's that's what i'm saying like no shade to max tech they have like mastered yeah, their specific niche um mm-hmm. but like, i can't compete i'm a benchmark matt guy i cannot compete yeah that space. but like i yeah. i couldn't do that one, because I don't know what the hell's going on, but also, uh, <laughs> like, you don't need – my value, I think, is what we're doing now, which is, like, trying to push the boundaries of what – maybe not – I don't want to say what YouTube is, but specifically what tech YouTube is. That's what that's what my value is. Yeah. And my, I, my value doesn't add anything if you can just read it on Twitter or in an article. Like, if all you want is the raw numbers – you can find that and read it. Like, you're only going to watch something that is... If you're watching a benchmark video, you're probably... Once you once you have your information, you're out. I don't want you to, to be out. And I just feel like... 
I spent a lot of years trying to make a video as fast as possible and then really had the nerve to be like, okay, where's my 100K? Where's my 200K views? Like, mm. I if, if it takes me a half hour to film a video, I do not deserve to ask you for... 500,000 views like it just that's just how it is and when people are when people are pumping out the same video on tech youtube and i mean I, we don't need to mention any names people know and it's like it's not even their fault that's just like the culture that we all have accepted but like what if it yeah. didn't have to be that way and what if you did wow. what if when mm -hmm. i upload you don't have to watch another video that you already have the information for like when i upload i want you to know it's because it's going to be different. It's going to be worth your time. And I think that's mm -hmm. been the hardest struggle for me this last year is trying to, without having to tease videos ahead of time, convince people that the second you get that notification, it's going to be worth clicking. And I don't think we're yeah. quite there yet, but I think that like but the more I times think, we deliver I like this and it's another, not horse shit. I think there's, an an there's another aspect that you're maybe overlooking a little bit, and that is that people aren't just going... People aren't always just looking for information. Like I, I there yeah. are, there are definitely people out there. Like you could straight up do a recap video. I know, I just for the sake of argument, right? I don't mm -hmm. think that you would actually want to do it, but you could just say, "Here's everything Apple announced this week," and just list it all down. And people will go to that because they're not just looking for the information they're looking for john prosser's take on it they're looking for sam's take on it and yeah. that that is definitely a very large component for it mm -hmm. and that's something that i think our channels are all in this we're, we're all you know in a pretty interesting spot i think at at you know 500k we've all hit 500k this i love year. that we're all that we've all come up it's, together it's adorable i know it's crazy. crazy it's great <laughs> that's crazy but i think i think that the existential crisis that we've all had at some point in some form over the past like 18 months to two years mm -hmm. uh whether ongoing or completed or whatever <laughs> i think that that is a very i i think that it's something that happens at this stage of a long form YouTube channel because I think this is kind of like the the middle ground between if you're a smaller YouTube channel and you're making really high quality content there is an appeal to that people will be like oh my gosh I've discovered someone you know mm. they're like holy cow I remember I would make videos that are demonstrably worse <laughs> than what okay. I make now, and mm. I would gain way more subscribers when I was a small YouTube channel because mm. they're like, oh my gosh, the bar of expectations of a 50,000 subscriber channel providing insightful commentary, mm -hmm. you're like, holy cow, this is impressive. Let's get but it before when the system breaks K, in. Yeah, <laughs> exactly. But when you're 500K, then you know people start to be like, ah, oh, there they go again talking about their brand deals, or oh, there they go <laughs> yeah. again with the clickbaity thumbnails. Like you got to play the game, and so people kind of expect a certain level of quality. But yeah. at the same token, you haven't gotten to that iconic status that I think you can achieve once you break over that million oh, barrier. Yeah, Absolutely. and that's yeah. it's a really interesting place to be. Yeah, I, yeah. I mean, I completely agree with you about how, like, uh, there are people that still... And I think I Sam and I had similar talks to, the, uh, to this as well. Like, people obviously still care about Sam's opinion or my opinion when something comes out. Of course, they're going to be looking for us. But, like, personally, I can't speak for any, any, uh, any other person on this podcast, but I think personally I had exhausted that all of that version of John Prosser. Mm. Like, I think... I had attracted as many people that were going to be attracted to that version of me as possible. And those people will always care about my opinion. I will always be able to upload a video and capture them. But what if I wanted to capture more? Like, I'm at a stage mm, of my career now where, like, it feels like I'm starting over. Like, I want new people, too. I want to I want to reach new people, too. And sometimes that means a new me, kind of. No, you're yeah. absolutely right. I mean, I, I agree with everything y'all are saying. I... I very much, I don't know. I've definitely been trying to lean into more of what I feel like I'm good at, which is like, I think I made three of the best TikToks I've ever made each day that new Max came out. 
Like I, it was quick, it was clean, it was crisp and it felt really good. So I was like, rather than, yeah, like basically what John was saying, like why would somebody want me to repeat the 13 minute Apple video in a seven minute video of just the exact same thing with like, without me being able to add context of like the M4 Pro chip is a big deal. I literally, I can tell you if I would have made that video, I would have been like, it has eight more CPU cores and it's like way faster. Like I would have had no, I wouldn't even have noticed that it's the same CPU cores as the max. I wouldn't have noticed any of these other things or or noticed that it's like a different unique chip design and no longer chopped or whatever, you know, whatever it is. Like I wouldn't have noticed any of that and there wouldn't have been a lot of value gained. But it's funny because I'm almost sad now that I I heard your talk where, you know, I I basically feel like we're all just sort of like lean into what you're really good at. And Mm -hmm. I feel like one of my skills is like just being excited about new stuff. And I'm looking back and I'm like, man, on Wednesday, I should have just made a video called like the new Macs are ridiculous. And it basically like <laughs> told the story of like how insane the past four years have been and how like that's like a video I could do good. We love a, and well. we love a self-aware king. Because you <laughs> you knowing that you're like your excitement and enthusiasm is contagious is completely correct and accurate. And it works for me, dude. I I <laughs> I have seen these products come out so many times every year. I don't care anymore. But like for the 12 minutes I'm watching a Sam video, I care a lot really quickly. <laughs> Thank you. It's a, yeah, it's I, a I, curse. Yeah, you are really good at uh, verbalizing why something is exciting. The first frame of his yeah. video, he has a smile like a little skill. shithead. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> He's little, already little smiling. Smile, but. Yeah, I, I it is very interesting. We're all at a very interesting spot. It'll be it'll be interesting to see where we are in a few years and if we're still around or if we've just given up. We're still around. Holy that, shit. That sounds cool too. Giving I hope up we're back kind of same sometimes. spot, same outfits this time next year. <laughs> and uh yeah, I can't I can't wait. Um TikTok's fun, YouTube, I'm definitely starting to run out of ideas. I'm gonna be straight up with everybody. I'm, <laughs> we are low on ideas and I've got about six videos that gotta go up in the next month. So oh. wish me the yeah. wish me the best. Oh uh, goodness. I've got, I've got a few banger soldier. ideas coming. Like, first iPhone 17 video, all custom renders is going to be coming um, oh, hell in November. Yeah. Um, they're all really, hell yeah. really good. So, like, I'm, I'm super excited, and I am so excited about that. And I am, You've convinced I am excited me. for... <laughs> I'm excited <laughs> I'll buy for, one. <laughs> yeah, bro. I, yeah, I'm excited for a bunch, but... Are, I don't know. Luke, uh, are you crazy. changing anything going into the next year of this horse shit? Like, is there anything that you... Are there things that you haven't told the public? Uh, well, I mean, I, I feel like I'm sort of one step further back from you guys in the existential crisis. I feel like you guys... Always coming, honey. Are... I, no, no, I know. I mean, I just... I mean that you guys are ahead of me. You oh, guys yeah, have yeah. figured out your shit, and I haven't yet. Uh, well, I don't know like, if we figured it out I, yet, but... Well, I'm, I'm, I'm probably where Sam was a year ago. That's what sure, I think. Okay. In terms of, like, I know that my content needs something new and something fresh and like you said john i think that i do have that that core audience that i know how to reach them i know what they Mm want to hear about and they will come back and they will you know they want to know what i think about stuff they want to they want to see these types of videos that i've been making for a while now but i do want to you know for for this business to to be sustainable and for the growth and the the projects that I want to do, there there has to be something more. And yeah. I think the biggest challenge is how do you get that new stuff, reach those new viewers without sacrificing the people yeah. that have already been watching? You know, I still yeah. and, and for me that means like every once in a while, you know, I'll try something new. Every once in a while, I will just go back to bread and butter like is the M1 MacBook Air the, still the king? Yeah. Those types of videos I feel that. have been a consistent, like the audience likes them. They, I get comments about them. I'm like, and people will email me. They'll be like, um, is the uh, is the 2017 MacBook Air still good? Can you make a video on that? It's like <laughs> the most specific things, but people want to see it. I yeah. Mean, sometimes well, I, that's not like out of the realm Wisconsin, of possibility but, you for know. you. Uh, I don't know. Maybe I'll do it. Uh, maybe I'll go on eBay after this and buy a 2017 exactly. MacBook Air. Who knows? And but you'll call I do it the wanna... worst MacBook I ever made. <laughs> no, well, that one wasn't that bad. The 2018 was pretty dog shit with the butterfly yeah, okay. keyboard. I, oh. yeah, see, maybe, I know. Well, a video. maybe I will do a video on that. But like, <laughs> see, I think, I think the thing for me is it's shifting from like 
the the angle that I would talk about something like that. Like yeah. maybe mm-hmm. a year ago or earlier this year, I would have said, uh, "Let's let's buy a 2018 MacBook Air and and call the video something like, this is the worst MacBook Air ever made." And I would talk about you know why it was so bad in a nerdier sense. Mm-hmm. Whereas I think now what I would probably try to do is weave it into a broader story about the MacBook Air. And I'd go back to the beginning and talk about the first one and talk about, I feel like just zooming out is something that I'm trying to work on because human emotion is the most videos, powerful thing to learn. Exactly. Emotion is very powerful. And a lot of my videos, I think what, what limits me is that a lot of my core audience has a certain baseline level of knowledge of mm. of Apple products and mm. s- certain specific things that mm. that that the a, a wider more general audience might not be aware of and i yeah. fear that sometimes i will talk about stuff with a parlance that my audience understands but that doesn't appeal outside of that existing audience and so yeah. that for me is really the biggest challenge is how if do I, I broaden without without making something where like the core audience is going to look at that and think this is boring we already know this. If I had like and I this is not like a guaranteed thing. This is just like this mm. is our philosophy and what we've been trying to do. We're trying to like assume that we're going to get some grace and patience here cuz instead of mm. looking at this as like uh at a micro standpoint of each video has to appeal to both. We're looking at it bigger picture. So it's like, how can we... How, this is where we want to be. How do we get there in 10 videos instead of one? So it's like, uh, our, mm. our more serious cinematic videos started, right? And we started getting a lot of new people. And you also had the old people going, I miss, the, I miss funny FPT. Where's mm-hmm. the jokes? And this last video is where it's all starting to come together of, like, the skills that we've learned with the cinematic seriousness, and now we're putting the jokes back in. So it's like, if you're just patient, like, it's all, it's, hopefully, it's all part of the plan. I don't know if that, I don't know if that works long term, uh, Mm -hmm. but I just know that, like, trying to do both in one video can be the hardest challenge. And sometimes you have to, like, it's not about one video, it's about your ne- your moves for the next few months and that's that's sort of yeah. what we're trying to do it might fucking crash and burn i don't know <laughs> no i don't think it will i don't think it will but uh you're right that that is the challenge it's it's because on you know you want to keep people happy because people watch you for a reason and you want to give them more of the reason that they started watching you in the first place um but the nature of the business is you have to grow and change and evolve. And the types of videos that you made in 2018 or 2022 maybe are not feasible. I mean, certainly for yeah. my channel, uh, Apple Silicon was a blessing and a curse because simultaneously these are the best computers ever made. Yeah. And they completely shut off this whole side of what I did. Uh-huh. And it's it's very weird because like that is – the entire reason that I am a YouTuber is because Apple made bad Macs. That's the whole reason. Because <laughs> I started making videos in 2015. I started to like make videos that people actually watched in like 2018. Mm-hmm. And that was like the worst period of time for the Mac. Yeah. They were making absolute garbage. And so if if, if you're faced with like, hey, buy this... $3,500 overheating MacBook, or, hey, there's this guy on YouTube who's talking about jerry-rigging this broken eBay <laughs> Mac and upgrading it, and now, hey, it's almost as fast. Yeah. That works. But now, like, and, I, and I've and i people ask me, people are saying, like, hey, go back to making that type of video. I, there is no type of video like that to make anymore <laughs> because the simple fact of the matter is I could spend a hundred hours on eBay trying to find an Intel Mac that I can somehow MacGyver into something that's better. Mm-hmm. But you can buy a MacBook Air for five hundred bucks with an M1 yeah. chip. <laughs> Job done. Yeah, there's no point yeah, in better. doing those things anymore. Yeah. So that is a big con- contribution to my 
existential crisis, which is a lot of the projects that I used to do don't make sense anymore because mm -hmm. the landscape has changed. But you're still here. Like you've been able to adapt, obviously, with Apple Silicon. Yeah. It's not like the, it's not like this, the second the M series chips came out, you have just been like you're still you, you're you're more popular now than ever. And a Apple Silicon's been a few. Uh, it's been out for a few years. I don't know if you know that. Yeah. No. I mean, you're not wrong. I I definitely feel as though I'm not growing i think that uh i don't know i mean i obviously covid was like an unprecedented rate of growth for i think most of yeah. us oh, yeah. like holy shit this terrible is crazy. thing to happen to the world best thing that happened in my career sorry i just did i know that. seriously it's the weirdest thing um wow, that's a crazy but year. since covid i feel like i have been making similar videos with similar views and similar response for about Two and a half or three years at this point. That's a and so I'm. I love like, that though. That's the best. No, it's I'm good. Telling you, man, that's Stability the best place is to good, be. But I feel like I want to be pushing the boundaries more and 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 delivering was, more. And it's also hard because it's like, you know, the videos are expensive. So it's yeah. like you, you know you got to spend money to make money, but it's not mm. a direct. Con you know, I could spend. 10, 15 grand on a video, I'm not going to make it back. The question is, how many yeah. times do I need to do that before I do make it back? Or do I just throw all my money away? That is the best, no though, way. dude. That's the best place to be. Like that. This is the same conversation Sam and I had on this show. So many episodes of like, uh, it, it feeling like we're n like there's nothing happening, like there's no growth. Like we're not, we're not mm -hmm. declining. Yeah. But like we, sp it felt like we spent two years like trying to open a locked door, like just pounding away at yes, a locked door. That's exactly it. And it's that moment. It's like I think this is the thing that happens in our career. We're like, we're we're really hungry and we want to make it. And then you make it, and you just get you just get caught up in the routine of it. You you're doing what you always wanted to do. You make the video, you put mm -hmm. it out, you get paid, make more of those, keep doing it. And then there comes a point where like you're not fulfilled enough and the hunger starts again and i think that's where like we're starting to be mm -hmm. like for the first time mm -hmm. in a long time i am hungry and wanting to do stuff that i that i didn't think was possible it's like i just want to outrun myself currently i don't feel like i'm competing with anybody i just want to outdo my last video which is getting out of hand now it's getting too yeah. much <laughs> but you're going to start after hiring more folks bro oh god yeah. uh it's like it just feels like this is what I always wanted to do. Like when I was a mm. kid, I always wanted to like make movies. This I wanted to make more cinematic pieces. And as I got older, as I got out of high school, that's what I tried first. I made short films. Like we tried that so many times and it just like that mm. never worked out and my skill set was never where I needed it to be and I think doing mm. this for almost 12 years now from Page Tech is at least 12 years old or something like that. It's like now I'm at a stage in my career where because I made it doing this a bit, I have afforded myself enough time to go back and have fun and do what I always wanted to do. It might not work, but like I, I think it – I feel good finding a place where I can do what I wanted to do always when I was a kid and somehow fitting it into the niche that you like you wouldn't expect that Damn. in. And that's so weird. that's that's what I'm – that's what I'm trying to do, and I think that I'm a lot happier for it, making less money, but I'm a lot happier for it, a lot hungrier for it, and I think this is the version of me that I will thank in a year or two, like whenever the final version of this is like, you know, once once I can see the bigger picture, I think this is the me that I'll thank, but I can only do this because so many people have given me such a great opportunity, we have the best job in the world to be able to do this like I wouldn't be able to have a like a regular job and just start now spending a whole just spending an entire <laughs> month uh, every waking hour working on a video and then not making any money on it afterwards that'd be a nightmare so like I'm entirely I'm so grateful to the audience and to like our position here and I'm also grateful that we're that we're all buds and we're still hungry cuz once we're not it's going to be very very sad well, you just said it, bro. It's it's finding what makes you happy. It's finding that middle ground. Like I am, the money has come better this year. But like I, 
I am happier with the video. Like I click on videos and I'm like, that's an incredible video. Hell yeah. Like, yep. or I'll make a TikTok and I'm like, that is, no one is going to make a better TikTok than me. I don't say that to be like cocky or like, oh, look at me or oh, whatever. But I'm saying I know it and I feel it. And I know my yeah. strong suit there. It's still like, I need help. Like that, you're talking about, what are you doing in the next year? Like <laughs> I am definitely going to have to get more people involved and I'm going to be paying out more than ever before. I think like, I, I told myself I'm like 2024 is going to be the growth year where like, I'm not saving as much, but I just need help. Yeah. I need to be posting more shorts. I need to be making, I, I need help with the mm. editing process. I spending eight to 10 hours of video is just not really sustainable with and this is just the video. This is just Sam as a YouTuber. Like, I want to do so many other things. I want to maybe train for a marathon next year. I don't know. That would be crazy, but we could at least a half <laughs> marathon. I want to explore my other passions and interests outside of technology. And it's just like I've realized like 2024 has taught me that like doing what I'm doing is unsustainable. Like, I'm a single dude and that's why it works. But if I was like going to have a relationship or a family, like, the, bro, you I cooked. can't. I can't be working thirty I mean, days straight. It's midnight right now, and you're on a Friday <laughs> yeah, John, night. John, John, sorry. What so time is it for John? It's, right? three, it's three a.m. for me. That's what time it is for me. <laughs> See, like we should probably you know. end the podcast. <laughs> I mean, yeah, probably, but we got. It's not my fault. We got into a good conversation. It's. Not, I didn't do this on purpose. <laughs> but I, I do go back, and I'll close with this. We are in an incredible position to succeed. We've worked for years. We, we, I, here's what I think the success on YouTube is. It's right time, right place, which we were. Mm -hmm. It's incredibly hard work, which we've done. And it's cool ideas and trying new stuff. And like we are just – basically, it is ours to mess up. Like if we fall oh, off, yeah. then it's mm -hmm. it's on me, bro. Like it's no yeah. algorithm. It's no audience. No, if fear. I mess – yeah, yeah. If yeah. I mess this up, it's on me. And like, I'm okay with that. I know that. I know the rules. I know how it goes. I'm not going to blame YouTube for, I just, if I see another tech YouTuber be like, man, no, shadow ban. Shadow not, ban. Oh my God. <laughs> yeah. That's my favorite. Bro, your <laughs> it, content it, sucks. I'm sorry, dude, but your it, content sucks. The, the thing that I have been taught. For, and John and I have said this many times, but I'll just, it, it's like very encapsulated of this or re representative of this conversation. Like for the longest time, I think we all thought like the algorithm, man, it just, yeah. how do you, you know, how do you trick the algorithm? And you realize the YouTube, people say TikTok algorithm is good. No, TikTok algorithm is pretty good, but the YouTube algorithm delivers the video to the exact number of people that care about it. No more, no less. Yeah, they like, have got this shit down to a fucking. The science. only people they that ever complain know. about algorithm is YouTubers. Like the audience is never like, "Wow, I didn't want that video. I just yeah. watched that whole thing on accident." Yeah. Like they just click what they want to watch, <laughs> pretty much like every it. time. Every once in a while, a video slips through the cracks. The algorithm makes mistakes, and it serves it to way too few or way too many. But I would say ninety nine point nine percent of the time. There is a reason that YouTube yes. is putting more and more ads on videos. It's because they're realizing mm -hmm. we're on a fucking gold mine. We can just keep throwing ads and, and the people are not leaving yeah. YouTube. Like I remember for years people said YouTube's all could be a – one of my neighbors three years ago said, well, what are you going to do when YouTube's not around? And I said, what? YouTube's yeah. not going – I mean, sure, I might not be around if I mess it up, but huh. YouTube is not going – anywhere it is mm -hmm. incredible i watch more youtube than any other streaming service and i yeah. love tiktok and, and youtube Instagram premium really, best subscription yeah, YouTube ever premium is well worth it i will say the only the only area where i think the algorithm can be considered somewhat flawed is sometimes when you try something new if it's something – because YouTube obviously always shows it to your audience first. Yeah, and the seed audience. And if you do audience. something that you're <laughs> – exactly. If you do something that your initial audience isn't as enthusiastic about, it will kill that video before it gets the chance to see the new yeah. people that you've perhaps made the video for. That's the game, that though. That is the How do you one the area – that is the game. Yeah. Exactly. <laughs> and that's the thing is – you know the parameters you have to make it work and it's like mm -hmm. man it is frustrating when you're like this video on a different youtube channel could be a million views but on my youtube channel with my seed audience it's not gonna work so you have to figure out a way 
to yeah. make it appeal to your audience and then to another audience too. And that is really challenging. And really fun. Yeah. Like just just the <laughs> attempts are so fun. <laughs> Sometimes. I love, I love them. This is such a funny, different perspective. Luke is like, I think I might not make it another day. And John's like, I like knowing that Let tomorrow I could it. die. <laughs> yeah, I know. John is like a part. masochist over here. He's like, yeah. I could go broke and hungry, middle. but I isn't that middle. what I wanted? <laughs> it was a really cool video. I was in yeah. Apple Park. It was so cool. <laughs> no, yeah, I feel yeah. like, uh, yeah, this is just... I think that it's at some point every one of us gets humbled, and I think that a lot of oh, creators mm -hmm. aren't there, unfortunately. Uh, and it can be something as simple as like kind of how we said we know Luke makes this video better, covers these topics better. So like, why even? Like, yeah. there's a there's a couple things like I don't deserve their time, but also I don't want to take somebody's time away from Luke either if he's the one that deserves it as my friend. So I don't want to do that. But like. I I think that for a while I always wanted to do the I always wanted to make stuff like that's just my favorite thing. I don't have any other hobbies. Yeah. I love making shit. And I think for a while I I kept saying I'm in, I'm in such a box. I you know I feel like I have to keep making the same content over and over again until one day I woke up and just went, "Why not? Like why can't I do the thing that I w always want to do but also do tech content? Tech like why can't it be the same yeah. thing?" Which makes it interesting for Sam because I know you've got a couple things. I think. Yeah, but I honestly, just ask why not. Honestly, you. I mean, yeah, there is one video that I've been sitting on for a year that I have. I have. I've bought the most expensive parts of it. It's just whether or not, basically, just for the context of the audience, I won't say what it is, but essentially, it would be me blowing twenty grand on a video. Like that's just what it would cost to do this, mm -hmm. and. You know, mm -hmm. I I know it's about just, this, right? Yeah, yeah, and Luke does too. Luke, you guys okay. both know exactly what I'm talking about, but um, I it's just like I I just don't know because I th it's one of those things. I think that video is an easy three to five hundred k views. The problem is like that won't. I can do that making mm -hmm. a leaks and rumors video now. Yeah. So why would I burn 20 grand, especially when I could, I mean, that would be like part of an employee's salary for the year. Like, could yeah. I use them to edit other things? It's just some, sometimes, not... Sam, sometimes, <laughs> man, it's just for the spectacle. It's like, could you get, could you do less <sighs> effort and still get the same amount of views? Yes. But let's say it gets 500,000 views on a Lisa Rumors video. What if those same 500,000 people got a way better, cooler experience? I mean, that's why I flew to Australia to drop the phone. Exactly. I could have waited 12 hours exactly. to drop the phone to the U.S. It's the but spectacle. <laughs> it's amazing. I to the Sydney Opera House. <laughs> it's incredible. Yeah. Okay. What a Should healthy go to bed? conversation. Yeah. I love you, boys. I love you, boys. This, I love you, boys. I, Luke is still a hot dog, but yeah. Great <laughs> conversation. Sorry, I love John and also you, the hot dog. <laughs> Thank you for coming on again, Luke. I know it was, yeah, it was and hard. And we've sorry, depleted everybody. all of our revenue to to Luke Miani weeks in a row. It's horrible. And also, wow. sorry to everybody that didn't care about this YouTube conversation at the very end. But maybe you can apply part of it to your own personal life, your personal growth journey. Maybe if you're feeling stuck at work, maybe it's trying something new. Maybe you can take that away. I think it's a. I think it. I think it absolutely is applicable. Hopefully, uh, or yeah. we just sound like yeah. out of touch idiots. No, I don't. I think and everyone I also that's love been you complaining about us for, for the last few me. weeks. This is a nice reminder that, oh, they're like people. We've humanized ourselves. Yeah, they're people. <laughs> That's cool. Yeah. Uh, okay. okay, well. Longest next, genius part of minute. Max come out next week, so we'll be getting the, uh, yeah, I guess we'll, the next episode will be after we get this new stuff in. Everyone so, go watch we'll, Luke in the meantime. Yeah, That's exactly. where your time is better spent. <laughs> Literally. <laughs> Please. God, Please. it's going to be busy. Oh, yep. Lukey's yeah. gonna have a busy end of the week, but it's been yeah. it's been oh, weird. I, I had a watch. very quiet like Thursday, <laughs> yesterday, and today. I've literally just been like puttering around, like barely it's doing amazing. anything, feeling like a piece of shit. But then I'm also like, wait a minute, I put out three videos yeah. this week, yeah, bro, and what? next weekend <laughs> is gonna go fucking crazy. So I don't know. Yeah, yeah, overly yeah. critical. Yeah. Do, you, do you like thought spirals? What are your like long? We'll close with this because I. It's just like I feel like I. I don't talk about I can this see out loud. The sleepiness approaching. Yeah, it's coming. Yeah. <laughs> uh, what What is your ritual with like an upload? What does that mean? Define ritual. Okay, like with me, 
this is an extreme mm -hmm. version. The the first half of this is like, especially with the last video, I was up for forty hours straight, not because yeah. <laughs> not as a punishment. Like I, there's something there's something wrong with me. Like I fucking love that. That's crazy. And I love I yeah, love editing insane. to the last minute, knowing like I haven't seen this final project, but I know in eight hours from now everyone will see it. I don't know how yet, but that's the cool that's part. Wild. Is like getting there, and then that after I haven't. Me. After I haven't slept for four hours, video goes up, and then I spend almost another ten hours just in the comments. Like, it's just what? like, I just, like, knowing, when I when I see the transition shot, when that transition shot looks really cool, my thought is like, it's not, wow, that looks really real, uh, that that makes me look good. My re My excitement is like, I cannot wait for people to see that this was, like, pulled off in a YouTube video. And I just mm. live for those reactions. Like, I would just stay in the comments just hearing that you enjoyed it. Like, the, my favorite comments ever were on this video. People just said, thank you. And that's the fu that's the best comment I think I've ever gotten. That's crazy. It's no, there's no fluff. I li that's the shit I live for. So, like, do you guys, what is your, like, upload routine like and then after the upload is done why are you laughing i'm serious just, just, no, 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 i'm not laughing uh, to be clear i'm not laughing at you i'm laughing at what my answer is going to be okay which is just like polar opposite of you what is it i was gonna say i have a feeling sam is a get the video out walk away from the computer and don't think about it for hours no, usually dude. it's like get the video out and i'm already three hours behind on the other task i was supposed to do so it's like like, okay, my uh, the video I published on the day that not event invites, event invites came out for this week, I had pushed a haircut back three hours, so I quite literally, oh, to that the was second insane. of hitting publish, I quite literally, this is not a joke, I ran through the hall of my apartment, ran to the elevator, ran to my car, and ran through Beverly Hills to get my haircut, like, and I was still five minutes late. So the, the, the experience <laughs> was stress. I don't really like this job that much today. I need help, and this is too much. That's that's yeah. what my ritual usually is. Is I worked so hard in this video. I'm I loved how it turned out, but I'm already stressed because the next video is due, and it's kind Aww. of an unhealthy cycle. I've started to sad. slip that into. I'm sad. not really enjoying. I'm not really enjoying what I'm putting out. That makes and me then I'll read like three, I'll read three comments, and then they usually piss me off, and I move on. <laughs> <laughs> Those reactions oh, are no. the payment, though. Like not even the yeah. that's. All, all of that work led up to like the next few hours I'm going to spend in the comment section. That is my payment. And I then I, you know, to be fair, of course I'm being a bit facetious. I will see a few <laughs> comments that I, you know, am like, oh, thanks so much for this. Yeah, like the kind of like the thank you, can't wait. You know, for the leaks and rumors, it's like you thanks, made me can't excited. Wait to upgrade my 14. You know, or yeah, super excited for this. Can't wait for Monday. Uh -huh. You know, that those are what make because that feels like a community of people that care about the same thing. Okay, go Luke. Luke? Mm -hmm. Uh. My schedule is kind of weird. I will, I will either. I mean, it depends on the type of video. Sometimes I have those crunch time videos where, like this week, for example, where it was literally like, you know, get up. Uh, press release is at. I think they were all at eight, and then I was trying to have the videos out by like eleven. So, <laughs> yeah, my yeah. brain can't even. No, no, it was. I actually, don't even understand the logistics of that. Yeah, no, Holy it's actually, shit. it is, it is weird. It is, that is, I, I would say my, my greatest talent is that I can get a 10 minute video. I can record for 30 minutes, get a 10 minute video do, with a 90 minute edit. That's 90 That's minutes. Yeah. Uh, I, lately what I've been doing is I can, I can typically take my A roll from 30 minutes down to my final 10. I can usually do that in a, about 30 to 40 minutes and then oh, i will take like an hour to go through uh and do all my b-roll mm. and then i'll do a final watch through an hour export it while i export it i'm making my thumbnail oh my upload everything all God. at once what i mean i do that for my thumbnail sometimes that, you guys yeah, are I making know that thumbnails you make as thumbnails it uploads first. yeah yeah what else am I doing? I can't do any other work during that Bro, time that period. Bro, that sounds insane. That sounds like gambling to me. Like, I'm <laughs> wait, not going to put... Wait, okay, okay. Let me try to explain. That sounds so insane to me. Like, that is the most important thing right off the bat. That's the first impression, is like thumbnail and title. And if mm -hmm. I just spent mm -hmm. all of that time working on this video, and then the last half hour trying to think of a thumbnail and a title, I'm gambling. 
I want to see the title well, and thumbnail. I, I will usually I need to have know had first. the idea beforehand. It's just I actually make it when the video is exporting. Yeah. That's insanity. Yeah. The th- <laughs> For us, the, I see the thumbnail first. That's the first thing I see that, where I'm like, because then I can judge how to open the video. I can be like, mm. once they click on this, this is the next thing they should see. And if I don't I mean, have I a good idea for saying, thumbnail, I won't start. I think we're saying similar things. I, I, There are definitely times where I definitely think about video idea first, thumbnail second, which is probably not the right strategy. But yeah, that's good. most of the time when I am coming up with a video idea, I do have an idea in my head of like, okay, these are the elements that the thumbnail should have and then therefore mm. how the video should start. It's just that it's a mental thing and then the actual making of the thumbnail is after oh. I've <gasps> made the video. Yeah, Jesus I know. Christ. I, yeah, well, hey, but look, I'm not staying <gasps> up 48 hours and That's the video's true. half done That's and I need to go live in eight hours. So, like, I, you yeah. might. I'm my just more impressed by your, by your you like. Out. Yeah, I'm just impressed by, like, your. Uh, y- like, you guys think I'm taking risks. <laughs> that to me is insane. <laughs> like, holy shit. I think I spend five hours, six hours on thumbnails before I even, like, begin. I, th- that's, my, that's, that's crazy. Okay, but my issue is, my issue is, I don't have, like, I could not loop me on it. If I waited till the last half hour, after I just erased my brain for a month making this other thing, and then I have to spend a half hour making the thumbnail, it's going to be bad. It's going to be ass. Like, very, 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 very not good, bad. My brain, See, need, you- if, my brain needs one thing to focus on at a time. I used to be like that, and I would rush my thumbnails out. But now I'm just like, if it takes an hour and a half for a thumbnail, I'm going to take that hour and a half. I'm not going to like put together yeah. a bad thumbnail in 20 minutes just to publish. I will take the time now to be like, yeah, I kind of worked. Oh, yeah. I, I mean, really... the, the video will be fully uploaded and ready to go for a while before I'm actually okay. done the thumbnail. I thought you were like, wh- okay, it's processed. I'm not like, <laughs> deadline. It's not like a <laughs> countdown. Stop wherever I'm there, at. <laughs> or it's like, as soon as, yeah, yeah no, it's not like that. <laughs> you didn't even put on your orange border yet. Quick. And it's quick. I definitely think that I could, I probably could increase the views that I get if I spent more time on like scripting, if I spent more time on thumbnails. And that is something that I definitely want to look into. Um, Careful. It's a, it's but yeah, a I mean, that is, I, well, you see, that's the thing is I, I, I try to have a little bit of a balance between, I'm like, I, just for my own sanity, it's like, because the way that I yeah. look at it, the more time I spend on a video, the more invested I get in it's doing well. And then if it mm. doesn't, it's more crushing. Like I have had yeah. a lot of videos I where I've that. put in an outrageous amount of time and effort and made something that was so good that I'm so proud of that I know that barring some freak viral outbreak – I'm not gonna recoup that energy cost in in mm. yeah. what it what it does, and I don't know. Maybe this isn't the right approach. Maybe it only works sometimes. But I have found that for my own sanity, if nothing else, sometimes I have to try a little less hard mm-hmm. and settle for a video that's ninety percent of what I wanted because. I can actually make that video and post it in a reasonable time. I would, and I, yeah, I've, like I've the done is better than perfect. So, thing. yeah, exactly. I've gotten so hung up on like, I just, I just want to get this one shot or this one thing, and I'm like, but that, it's gonna take me hours to get that, and realistically, I'm that's gambling as far as I can <laughs> yeah. tell, yeah. because I'm like, I I know with a reasonable certainty that I I can get roughly this ballpark range of views if i invest another five or six hours into these details maybe sometimes it'll deliver yeah but oftentimes it won't and then i'm not gonna feel like i'm gonna feel like my effort has gone to waste even though that's probably not a good way to look at it no sometimes for my own health and well-being i'm like i i'm getting this video out see this is the stuff i need to hear like that like that brings me back yeah. down to earth. Like I, uh, I need to do more of what you're doing, and you need to do more of what I. We need yeah, to I mean, meet yeah. in the middle. There's a balance somewhere between it's, spending a month on a video and spending three hours on a video. Yeah, there's, some, there's a happy middle <laughs> yeah. in there. 
Hey, like, hey, I don't want to ruin it, but I spend like 10 hours per video. Maybe that's cl- 10 to 12 hours. Maybe that's, that's the middle a, ground. Yeah, but you just said it's yeah. not sustainable. I think Sam has found well, the middle ground. Well, that's the He's complaining, thing about so, that. <laughs> yeah. He kind of hates it, but... <laughs> Uh, yeah, that's yeah. the thing about so my I guess, life. I guess there, you're never really going to be happy is is what no. we're learning. Yeah, like, okay, the way things are right now is, I mean, insane is the only w- word. <laughs> and, like, I know that this cannot continue. Like, everything is scripted down to the pauses. We know how long the video is going to be. Before anything is shot, like we have ca- we we have equations for like how many words a script is versus how fast I usually read it, and we can tell how how long the video is going to be before it's shot. That's too much, or like, yeah, I would just I would love to find a middle ground, and maybe that is maybe it's like maybe kind of like what Sam said. It's just like more people and giving up some control yeah. and trust to people that are smarter. Like the the That's vision pro not review. giving up control. It's entrusting other people with a shared vision. Yeah, yeah. Look at that. I like the way you put it better. Yeah, like with the the vision pro review, that didn't do well. I mean, it did well, but it didn't do as well. Like kind of like you said, for the amount of effort that we put in, that was like a mm-hmm. multiple month project. Yeah. But not once, at least I don't think, have I thought privately to myself that like I was. I got hit by the algorithm or like wasn't treated fairly. I, I assume full responsibility for that. And I like, I know now like one of, no matter how much work I put in, sometimes the work is in the wrong direction. And like, Mm -hmm. sometimes it's just actually not good enough. And I wish I could do the vision pro review over again. Cause I think I know how I could correct like better, like tell a story better, but it's not, but like you can't do that. I wouldn't even necessarily say, I object to you categorizing something as not good enough because I think that that is sort of the – in the creator space, that sort of gets beaten into us, which is mm. if you're not getting views, it means something was wrong or, or, or bad or you didn't do something right. Mm-hmm. And I don't think that that's true. And I think that there are countless videos out there. I have seen – videos where I'm like, holy shit, this is one of the best pieces of content that I've ever seen in my entire life. And it'll have like 140,000 views. Mm. Some of the best pieces of content that I've ever seen have one to 300,000 views on YouTube. And you kind of just go, wow, how didn't more people like that? Mm -hmm. And that's the thing. That's, I don't have an answer for it, but sometimes it's not that you've done something wrong. Yeah, and I, I'm with I'm with Luke on this one. Like, when I say like don't blame the other, it's also just like sometimes people just aren't gonna care about a thing. Like for Vision Pro, yeah, it's just so, it's a thirty five hundred dollar headset. You like, should have listened to I, Sam on that one. What? <laughs> I'm not saying this to rub it in. <laughs> I'm saying like a review of a thirty five hundred dollar product is something that a million there, John. There is nothing you could do to I I believe. There is nothing you could do to make that video get a million views. Nothing. Well, a, million a million people views, like, yeah. do not care about buying the Apple Vision Pro and unless they're hearing it from Marquez or Mr. Who's the Boss or someone with that hmm. massive you can wide still audience. Turn it into that, a story though. Oh yeah, that'll I do really well. Like, for example, could, I was just gonna yeah. say I haven't made a Vision Pro video because I know if I make one if I made one with my actual thoughts, people wouldn't really care. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no. I, I'm waiting. <laughs> I never did. I'm a waiting review. for. Um, I'm waiting for the right time, and I, I think I know when that right time is going to be. And Can I, I am going to put out. Me? Sure, but I mean, I, it'll be pretty easily guessable. We'll be like, oh, that makes sense. But one I'm going to turn it into a whole story. Shut up, dude. Nobody said that. Um, but yeah, yeah no I, one's I'm had gonna, that idea before, Sam. Yeah, but I'm going to very much make it a video that will work and I, I can see the vision like it makes sense it will work pro it i can see the story that i want to tell in my head already and it it's it's more an apple review than a vision pro review basically mm, okay yeah I'm because that's the that. story that's yeah. a story that is and i'm not saying that's just a story that's that's the story of this product at the end of the day and yeah anyway 
We should go. You got to go to bed. I got to go to bed. Yeah, I we got to get out of here. Up there sleeping. I got to Thank go you guys. It's, and if I got to go to bed, then that means John is long overdue. Cooked. Yeah. You are I'll, cooked. Three three hour podcast. I'm proud of us. Everyone's going to be. Ve- there's either people are going to be very happy <laughs> oh. or very pissed, and there's not going to be any in between. But thank no, you guys for spending three is. hours with me. Yeah, there never is. Thank you. Please leave all the comments. And also, last note, last housekeeping. Genius orders. If you bought merch, it's mm. in the mail. So get I saw ready. A couple people got Ooh. some stuff. Yeah. So it's it's in the mail. Drop it feels off it feels illegal to packages. see other people wearing it because it's been like a secret it's awesome. for months. It's awesome. Yeah, my parents. My parents helped me pack all of it. So Aww, thank you. The best. Thank Packed you with them. love. Y- your mom texted me and was like, "This is my vacation," and it was just your apartment surrounded and absolutely buried in genius merch boxes. Yeah, oh, let me. No. Find, I, I shot a short, like, few second video myself. Let me see if I can pull this up really fast. Uh, here we go. This is just like my apartment. Holy shit! Boxes. Yeah, for oh those that don't know, yeah, Sam does all of that, like himself. Yeah, every every single one. There's a good chance. I mean, I touched one of the boxes at least. Or I mean, yeah, I, that's, that's what like, I was. I actually, I shouldn't say that because they'll probably be like, maybe put gloves on. But okay, um, how did you yeah, touch all them, the box, Sam? With my special <laughs> dog. <laughs> oh, no. I love you, boys. Oh, Thanks no. for spending three hours with me. Uh, we'll see you guys next week. Luke, you coming wow. back next week? Yeah, <laughs> sure. Why not? <laughs> <laughs> when when do we just tell Noah you've moved? Yeah. <laughs> oh, no. Well, once you start splitting revenue with me, then. Oh, okay. he's pulling out the big guns. <laughs> I like this. I like this. Oh. Um, all right, guys. We we did it. Another episode of the Genius Bar. We love you. Thank you for watching. It's gonna be a rough couple months after this, so just just play this oh, episode back when you we're want gonna to feel get something. Yeah, we're gonna make it through this together as a family. I might go to sleep just like do. in this. You're basically in a sleeping bag, Luke. <laughs> it's quick. Yeah, I can. It's should, I also, should I go to bed in my? You don't look. Suit? You don't look like you can sleep comfortably even a little bit. No, that looks like a really itchy suit. I didn't say that, but it looks really itchy. You did say it. It's not that itchy.